Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back to Aspen Farm. Joining Marcus on the 15th of summer. This is, I don't even know what episode this is anymore. I don't know what episode this is anymore. Okay, it looks like we have a little bit of a busy week ahead of us, which is really exciting. Um, yeah, we got some birthdays, which we can give both of these folks a birthday present because we have a love gift. One that's quality, one that's maybe not. With the bookseller who we are going to visit. We are going to visit the bookseller. <laughs> And we're going to check out the Trout Derby to see if your two Trout Derby has anything spicy. So happy that you're back. Oh, we're going to chop trees today. Wow, we're getting this earlier this year. Okay. Um, and yeah, I'm con it kind of confirms that from the comments and asking around that this does happen once every summer. The day is random. The day is random, but it happens once a summer. So we're going to chop down trees. We're going to chop down trees, mainly in the train yard, I think. Does this... I feel like this is exclusive to the valley i feel like it doesn't hit the desert um if we remember we can go check but yeah, okay that's good to know um it's a neutral luck day so that's pretty good too that means we're not going to be missing out on much um yeah if you're still with me after oh after a minute thanks for stopping by i appreciate you stopping by be it this is the first time you're stopping by be it you've been with us this entire journey thus far or maybe maybe just maybe this is the one video where you feel like sharing your thoughts with us and commenting but i love lurkers i myself am mostly a lurker so i appreciate you just as much as i appreciate those who comment and point out all the silly goofy things i'm up to um this episode is very much gonna did i just ignore other things in here jeez i didn't okay this episode is very much gonna be a um I don't know if I can get the pike. It's going to be a let's let's talk about the comments episode because um, there's a lot of comments that we can touch base with. How are you doing here? I'd like to give my wife a star fruit. Well, Kent, I conveniently have a full chest of star fruit just over here for you. Um, but yeah, I'm going to be replying to some comments because I think I have a backlog of about three days. I like to let the comments pile up a little bit. I like to let them pile up a little bit. Uh, I'm going to give you a basic quality. I don't know if the quality of these actually influence anything. Are these up to? They are. Yay. So we can do a new um, timer for this one. Um, and I said we were going to do blueberries because they actually sell for more than the squash. And we'll check. We'll check. Like I'll load up these blueberries. I feel so weird jamming a single blueberry usually i don't do this um also one thing i was thinking about with blueberries like these multi-yield crops because i was talking to a friend who's also playing stardew she was saying i'm going to save one of them just so we can compare she was saying that a good thing to do with things like blueberries or cranberries or you know the the the, the crops that give you a lot um maybe not coffee i don't know is dehydrate them because they take you take five per thing to dehydrate them so that's a good way to kind of cycle through them and get a lot of money um instead of having to keg a single or jam a single blueberry so that's something we're gonna peruse in the upcoming you know little bit here is looking at maybe making a few more dehydrators and that way we can actually um have a bit of fun with some of the 1.6 content as well so i think that'll be cool to take a peek at that and see how that plays out I saw you run over here. Which one are you? You're Nightshade. We got some down here. This grass is not going to last until winter. Well, I'm going to let you know that right now. So we might get a little creative with some regular grass. Did we get everyone? I don't think so. I feel like I didn't get... Yeah, these ones over here. Okay, now did we get everyone? Uh, Violet. We missed Violet. Or one of you, Violet. There we go. There's Violet. Did I get all the pigs? One just came out of the barn. I did. Okay, so you just went back in. Um, yeah, we're going to look at the dehydrator. We have a lot of things to do, but yeah, we're definitely going to prioritize copying down, copying, geez, cutting down trees today uh, so that we just get a freebie, essentially, tomorrow. And I know not all of them grow, but I feel like they do. The growth does kind of um, explode a little bit for those. Oops, oops. Um, oh my gosh. We're going to check out the special orders board. We're also going to go to Robin's, like I think I said that last episode, to move some buildings around for us. Kind of do a little bit more adjusting on the farm. 
Do we have more stuff in here? We do. Just milks. There we go. Eggs are caught up. We have more egg or um, whatever these things are called. Machines. And we have... Do we have five of these now? I think we have five of these now. There we go. Ramping up our animal production. Hey. Should store these cheese. We have 14. We're getting crazy. That's 100k right there. I'm going to take these out. We can sell these. Um, yeah. Once we... <clears throat> excuse me. Once we get moving in a groove in, I'm going to pull up the comments and we're going to we're gonna start to um, read some comments, read some lovely things that folks have been sharing. Some of the comments are just reactions to some of the videos. So like, I might not, I might not, hi Rue, there you are. Rue, let's switch out your hat soon. It's been a while. I might not specifically address some of those comments just because um, they're very specific to like the goings about, about like a certain thing that's been happening in the video. Um... Unless there's something really important to acknowledge. Like, there's definitely one I was looking at that's like, oh, shoot. Um, can I? No. Okay. That's okay. So, yeah, we're going to even look at dehydrating apples. I'm just going to... Am I collecting them in here? I am. Yeah, because right now we have almost two two batches worth of dehydration. Um, okay, let's go and putz around town. And now would be a good time to pull up the comments. So, I'm going to be starting. So, yes, yeah, three days worth of comments. So they start all the way back to around, I think episode 9 is the first one. Um, we need to find, I'm also just not using speed. We need to find Kent. Kentaru, where are you? Hi Sam, how are you doing? There's a little less pollen in the summer. My nose is really happy. I, I agree, I love how Sam only focuses on his allergies. Um, Kent, are you, oh, okay. Just a PTSD cutscene. Literally, I'm not just saying that. Hi, Marcus. I'm just making some popcorn. Is this a double bed? Has this always been? Oh, there's a TV in there. Oh my gosh! Sorry, I'm not gonna yell into the microphone. That sound. Sorry, that sound. It's probably more stern than that. You should have known that sound would remind me of the war. Sad. I lost a lot of good friends in those bloody trenches. But dear, popcorn was always your favorite before you left. Yeah, harmless. Things have changed. Marcus, can you say something to him? Say something to Kent. Jody's to blame. She should have known better. I know you're hurting, but don't blame your wife or lie. Blame me. I asked for popcorn. I don't think lying is the best. I don't think lying is the best. I think just being honest, right? And like, but acknowledging the reality too. Like, yes, you're hurting, but like, again, she was trying to come from a place of care. She she said it, it was always his favorite, so she was just trying to do something good for him. You're absolutely right, Marcus. But I know PTSD is not that simple either. So, yeah. I'm sorry, honey. You couldn't have known the sound of popcorn would make me upset. That's okay, dear. The last thing I want to do is make you upset. I'll do my best to keep your spirits up from now on. Nice. It's like the first non-drama-filled thing that Jody's been focusing on. Anyways, let's get you a star, a badge. Here you go. Hey, shh, don't let Jody see. Oh my gosh. Ah, don't look over the radio. Ah, this looks juicy. She'll love it. Thank you so much. Yeah, that's an expensive 500G. But that's friendship with you. Which we're doing pretty good. I'm glad you're a friend of the family, Marcus. Sorry about my behavior before. Um, summer is nice, but it also means more work. I like that black couch. It's cool. Anyways, let's go check out the special order. We can say hi to Leah. Good morning, Leah. I found some wild fruits this morning. Sorry, I don't have any left. <laughs> Oh, we have a ticket. Right, I forgot we finished. Was it Willie's? I think it was Willie's. So we have crop of order. The Queen of Sauce recently spotted the um, on the fresh hot pepper. 100 hot peppers in two weeks. And oh, but we got the prismatic jelly. We're 100% doing the prismatic jelly. We have been waiting for the prismatic jelly. We've been waiting for it. Um, ooh, Omnis. Okay. Five diamonds. What's next? Some mystery boxes. Okay, so these are getting kind of like... Meh, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> um, okay, so I want to address one comment that's actually a more recent one because I need to check myself. It was from um, Wolf Shadow Whisper. Um, 
and they said that I sold a mineral that I could have donated, which is a big yikes. Blinking. Um, so we're going to check because I don't actually know what it looks like. And I might have gotten it since because this comment was on episode 15. So I might have gotten one um, in turn. And it was, um, well, well, Shadow Whisper said it was the Jago, the Jagoite. So it should show up here because we had it in our inventory. And then we can reference to see if we see it anywhere. Because I, oh, oh, this one. Okay, so we did get another one. Okay, that's good. Okay. Problem solved, which maybe um, will Shadow Whisper. I wouldn't be surprised if you comment on the video that I... <laughs> um, they're like, oh, there it is. Wow, you found it. Um, but I just wanted to check to just be like, do I need to keep my eye out for that? That was on the Goblin, so I think that's telling us about the mayo, which leads me to another comment. But yeah, thanks, Will Shadow Whisper. You got my back. I appreciate you. Um, and that is from Nuitari. Nuitari. Sorry, I'm thinking like Nui, like French. Um, from Nuitari which answered a lot of questions that I had. So I thank you so much. So I'm gonna try and provide a little bit of context to these questions. Um, let me do, 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 do. Ah, here, okay, actually, we'll talk about the one that um, I wanted to talk about first. So we saw the book on goblins, um, which brings me to, we're gonna move some buildings. Um, when I asked a question about the void mail, Asked a question about the void mayo and kind of like what I'm gonna probably put rouge bowl somewhere else. Like what to what what would we do with the void mayo? And I think I'm gonna move this over one. Yes. Yeah, we're gonna move it over one. Um. Yeah, I asked a question of like what. Oops, I'm not done moving things. Like, can you get void mayo? Can you fish it up anymore from our goblin friend? What happens if I move this back like a lot? I know that's just more work, but this is like such dead space back here. You know what I might do is I might move. I might move, whatchamacallit him, chestnut here for a second. So we can come back here and plant some trees. Plant some trees, plant some grass. Um, I'm not done moving buildings. But the answer is yes, you can still fish up some void mayo. It's just a little bit more rare to fish now. So that's from Nuitari, 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 sorry, which I appreciate your response. Thanks. Thanks. Um, one thing that I was also thinking about, which we would have to destroy, so this might be a winter thing, especially when animals aren't here, is moving these over a little bit more. Or I was thinking, I'm going to probably put it back here, but this is just a sample, is in the coming year, this will be a winter thing, is moving them here kind of like framing around this because we'll be we'll be exiting this crop field so moving here and here and then kind of having a path in between and then this will be the new animal area that we can kind of fence off here that way that frees up over here which is really i mean we can put another animal something here but i want to make sure that we have this area for crops because this area to my knowledge fits a lot of iridium sprinklers and a potential um Junimo hut really nicely but anyways, yeah, no thanks Nuitari for responding to that because that was a wonder of mine specifically. So next we have lots of trees. Wow, it's a good thing we're coming up here. Let's see if we have enough seeds. Um, oh, hi Abby. Did you demolish half the trees here? Um, next is... <clears throat> reminding me of something I forgot about. I appreciate that. There was also the question when we went down into the wizard's house. We were in the basement. I think it's because we were running through the swamp or something, maybe. Um, I saw that right beside, like, the appearance change statue or whatever is there. Um, there was, like, a little additional thing down there. And I was, I remember, I said, I was like, is this new? Is this new? And you know what? Instead of kind of randomly ambiguously saying it let's go and look we uh, we can literally just go there we're like five seconds away do, 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 do. so it was not in here it was over here and i was asking if this portion of the basement was new a receptacle of unknown origins and the answer is yes it is I also kind of want to do this because I want to change my hair so that we can see it under our hats a little bit more. Uh, I'm not going to change things too much. Also, my eye color I want to change because I think I forgot to actually make it green like it was in the original. So we're going to make it a bit of a... There we go. 
Well, you can just change your gender too. That's cool. Gender reassignment. Um, I need to turn myself a little bit so I can see what hairs on the back. But anyways, um, yeah, this is this is in fact new. So that's Nutari again. That's saying yes, it's new, and they just left it at that. So I appreciate that. You know me too well. So thanks. Um, that hat doesn't look too bad with hair. I want one with like a little bit more bangs. Oh, we could do like a long hair. That one doesn't look too bad. That one looks okay. They all kind of get hidden in, in the hat, hey? Oh, you can change your favorite thing and your name. How can you have you always been able to do that on this screen? I don't. I this is something where it could be in a previous episode. I just don't. Okay, so I'm gonna waste 500, and I'm going to take off my. Oh, I didn't even see we got a golden mystery box. I take off my hat. So, oh, this is a fun hair. I didn't even know that was a hair. Um, I don't like how it takes the price. I wish it took it once you pushed okay, so you could exit out, because that's a hair we had. I'm thinking I'm leaning more towards the poxial hair. That hair's fun. I kind of like that hair. Um, oh, vanilla hairs. I like the poxial hair. I also like this one. I think a lot of people use this hair. But I'm leaning towards... Eh. That one would be cool if you're doing more of like an adventurer. Like, you know, like use the backpacks and baubles fashion sense mod. But just the poxial hair. I'm going to change colors of it though. Because I feel weird impostering poxial. Um, I might make it a bit more like fuchsia honestly. Because I think that would be fun. But then that's too hodgepodge. <laughs> let's make it a bit green. Uh, we can actually make it. Let's make it dark. Let's make it dark. I think that would be fun. Really change it up hey. So obviously hats don't really influence this hair too much. There, how about that? Nice, like, kind of, like, silvery, dark color. I like that. And then the hat, again, doesn't really do much. Anyways. Um, but, yeah. So, okay, so let me go back. Because now I've answered kind of some of the... Or, like, shown some of the answers that I have gotten, which I appreciate. Um, and now that I'm talking about these, I'll spend some time answering them. So, that's reference. When you get my answers to these, because I know y'all will see them because they pop up as notifications for you. You'll know roughly when I was filming this, because <laughs> it will timestamp my answers for you. Um, but yeah, so <clears throat> a lot of awesome, very wholesome responses to my whole recording fiasco of having the music too loud. Um, everyone has been so supportive, which is really great. So supportive or just hasn't been vocal. So. It's, you know, no news is good news kind of angle with that one, I guess. Um, so, yeah, no, thank you for that. Um, we got some feedback from... Let me just make sure I'm saying your name correctly. Oh, I just pulled up the wrong person. What the heck, why did that zoom to the top? Um, it is from 321 Robbie Roo. Hello, 321 Robbie Roo. Um, I feel like you commented maybe before, maybe not, but I appreciate you. Um, you left a really awesome comment. So it's on like episode 7 where I was asking about video links. And you said, Robbie Roo said that they appreciate the one week episodes. So that's awesome. That's even more validation. So thank you. Um, but then they kind of explained why, which is really great to hear. They said, it feels like it's more manageable to, well, I'm paying attention. And when I want background noise for, for longer... Um, I just use the playlist for multiple videos one after another, which is great. So that's awesome to hear that, you know, me actually putting them into a playlist is actually benefiting some folks too. It's just one extra click, like it's not too much work to put them in a playlist, but I don't know. I like to group things like that. So that's cool to hear that it's working out for someone. Um, and then Acronis Wolf is agreeing that moss makes oak, um, geez, makes oak, oak trees very pretty. So yes, I agree. I think I might've said that. Um, and then we have, um, Andaris, Andaris, who mentioned, so this is when I was talking about redoing a whole, like, two seasons, I think, um, to make this save file. 
and Dara said that Smappy creates save backups. Pretty sure you could have just loaded the old save before recording the recording session that got lost. So this is on episode 9 that they're commenting. Um, mine has 10 different backups from the last 8 days. I agree, I think Smappy does. The thing is, is I am playing... I'm playing completely vanilla. I'm not even running Stardew through Smappy. I'm running Stardew straight through Steam. So in, there might be something through Steam. But yeah, if I was using Smappy, um, I could have. But I, I'm not using Smappy at all. So I didn't even have that option. I think it only saves up to one day prior normally. So yeah, great comment. Good to know. Um, maybe I should just be running it through Smappy, even if I'm not using mods for that reason. So I might explore that. I'm just nervous that it won't be like a real vanilla even though there won't be any mods attached to it you know because even with a smappy console you can do some stuff you can do some stuff um just typing in commands so i think that's why i was trying to avoid it is not getting the itch to like take a shortcut can i not even get through here goodness i guess i can cut this into the building it's fine but yeah no that's an awesome suggestion thanks for sharing that um that's probably really good news for a lot of people too who maybe want to back up a little bit um do, 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 do. We have uh, Wolf Shadow Whisper sharing a lot about you know their how what kind of Stardew content and what version of it they enjoy. Um, so that's great. But the biggest thing is that they say that their favorite seasonal music is fall. I love that. Thanks for sharing your seasonal music. I think I agree. I know I agree. I think I said that. But the favorite songs is the volcano in um, of Ginger Island. Those songs are my oh, only explain this happy place. Nice. Well, there's a lot of volcano music recently, hey? <laughs> and it's like I've always been complaining how loud it is. <laughs> um, let's see. Oh, and I'm becoming one of your favorite Stardew, like, content creators. Thanks. Um, that means so much. And it's funny because then the comment goes on to say you always try to answer um, comments. So, hello. Here I am answering our comments. <laughs> That's ironic. So, I had to expand it. So, I didn't actually know that was part of it. Did I get all of these? Because I'm probably not being nearly as efficient because I'm just talking. Um, but what's new? You all know me quite well by now that this is nothing out of the ordinary, and I hope that some of you find it at least endearing to some extent. Uh, <laughs> and they're not, not too annoying. Um, I just have to pay attention for this because I'm so bad at planting these in a good spot. Maybe we can zip to the desert too, just in case. I'm pretty sure the green rain doesn't go to the desert. Actually, I don't even know because we, we didn't have the desert unlocked last summer. Anyways, um... What does Wolf Shadow, um, Wolf Shadow Whisper go on to say? Oh, geez, I missed a bunch of trees up here. Um, it makes, makes, yeah, makes the viewers feel more loyal. I agree. Like, that is something that I want to work on. And especially while I'm still kind of this, this small little YouTube creator, which is really nice. I, and I really love it this way. I hope it, I don't become a big YouTube content creator. Like, that's not my goal. Um, especially with the kind of lifestyle I live in, the what I kind of want to get out of here. Also, I have no clue, no idea where these trees. Okay, so there's one there. Gosh, it's a nightmare. Should have just waited for these all to grow in. Sure, that looks like a good spot. And right there. Okay, I can tell those. Um, but yeah, I really want to. I try to make the effort to respond to all of you because it's really cool being acknowledged, right, and like heard and. You know, you have a community for a reason. It's not a one-sided thing. So that's why I want to speak, spend the time to acknowledge my community that we are growing and forming together because you are all, again, are just such wonderful people and you have such great comments and feedback and help and tips. And yeah, you're so respectful of my, um, my, my asks and everything. So yeah, that's why I want to take the time to acknowledge all of you. If you have not yet commented, I would love to hear from you. I would love to hear from you. Um, no pressure though. Always no pressure. There. Okay, I think that's pretty good. I think we got most of the spots. If we missed a few, we missed a few. It's it's okay. It's not the end of the world. Let's sign. Let's. Da, da, da. We're gonna go home. We're not gonna go to the desert because we don't got time. Actually, you know what I can do is maybe I can plant. I'm just gonna fall asleep. Maybe I can plant some here because I don't think Sebastian will come out here. Um, oops, I'm just going to scatter them. It's fine. I don't think he'll come out here during the green rain. Let's 
So we'll just scatter some here. Um, and then, sorry, number four from the same comment. The same, let's just put some back here. And if he pulls them up, he pulls them up. We'll put four there. Um, the same comment from Wolf Shadow Whisper, so awesome, um, says that they like sauerkraut. Um, just had pizza with sauerkraut. Um, Eisbein? Eisbein? I don't actually know what that is. Sounds like a cheese. Is it a cheese? I'll have to Google it. Eisbein. Um, literally ice leg is a German culinary dish of corned ham hock, usually cured. Oh, so it's like a meat. Okay. Where am I going? Where am I going? Being distracted and looking at food is where I'm going. Um, so it's a meat. Okay, cool. Um, honey mustard and mozzarella. That sounds amazing. I've never, I don't think I've ever had sauerkraut on. Something looks very dark over here that's not normally that dark. Oh shoot, it's 1.30, I wanted to plant. Okay, we're gonna try and do this very speedy. Donk, donk. Donk, donk, donk. Please, 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 donk, there we go. Get in the house, get in the house, don't lose 1,000. Ah, crap, it's okay. Um. Yeah, probably butchered their spelling. It's okay. I also don't know how to spell them, so I'm not one to say anything. Um, but that sounds amazing. I don't think I've ever had sauerkraut on a pizza. Wow, we made a lot of money from our... Oh, it's because we sold 3000 there. Yeah, I've never had sauerkraut on a pizza. That sounds amazing. And they say, thanks for surviving this comment. I am very chatty, especially when I'm having fun. You are fun to watch. LOL. Cool. Thanks for like sharing so much. That was fantastic to read. And ooh, it's spooky. A green rain has dis green rain has descended upon the valley. Um, cool. So it is not someone's birthday. I wonder if this can't happen on a birthday or probably definitely not an event day. Um, oh right, our TV is just broken today. Um, so we are going to. Oh look at yeah, look at that. Two of them already grew up. You're lucky I found you last night. We're going to quickly try to take care of our chores. We're not going to do hardwood today. We're going to try and save time on that. I'm also going to grab five of these so we get our speed on. We are going to grab these jades. We are going to grab the jades. But yeah, I think the speed will be... It was so spooky inside. Um, do 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 Oh my fiber. Oh, I forgot about this. How does does this just one shot everything? Almost. Cut up a lot of grass. Oh my gosh, I almost harvested my puppy there. Um I don't know how much of this I want. This is so awesome. Maybe we can finally build that thingy. Oh my oh my gosh, the fiber in the um our animal pen. That'd be cool if this exploded the grass. Look at these trees! These trees, all of my oak trees became so cool. Um, I just realized I killed a bunch of grass under the fence there. That was unintentional. Um, what was I going to say? I don't remember. Anyways, we can read another comment while I'm just attacking the ground. Um, there's a comment from Nuitari here. I'm buzzing one second. Okay, I can wait for those. That's fine. Um, there's a comment from Nuitari here. I'm cutting down precious grass. That was unfortunate. That says, um, <laughs> love the laid back devil my care play style. I think I, maybe it's devil may care. I had to look it up and it's an expression, devil may care. Um, love the laid back devil may care play style. Props for the dedication to remake the, sa the save file. That's awesome. If it's devil my care, that's, I mean, correct me, please correct me. Um, but I was Googling, I was like, what does this mean? And it basically means like, meh. <laughs> That's the easiest way to say it, right? Like, great, all right, so what? Um, stuff happens, right? Kind of kind of energy. Um, to my knowledge, but correct me if I'm wrong, because again, this is me just trying to like sleuth things out with Google, so. Is that an iridium small milk? What the heck? Okay, and then we need five truffles. I think I just didn't pick up that truffle outside, but that's okay. Um, <clears throat> yeah, that's how I like to do it because like we spend so much time 
so much time just worrying about the small stuff in our lives that I'm like, this is a video game that's meant to just be like fun. So I'm not going to stress out about things. If it doesn't, oh right, I forgot about Rue's dish. If it doesn't happen, it's it doesn't happen. It's okay, right? Um, the nice thing about Stardew Valley is you can play this thing until year 4093. I don't know. Right, you can play this game forever. You have, you literally have the world, um, you know, the world. The world is your oyster when you're playing Stardew Valley. <laughs> and then we have a comment from um, um, Future Endings, who responded to my comments where I was kind of talking about. And I might leave them here. Um, he responded to my comment about. I'm just gonna get the fiber I think is like the what I should focus on because we have some mossy seeds going responded to my comment about like how I'm not being the most efficient and they said that they actually enjoy watching playthroughs like that because they that they can't play the game like that so that's that's awesome thanks for ooh two mossy seeds we can actually get a bunch of mossy seeds from these things so thanks for yeah thanks for uh, addressing that and kind of replying I think that's important for everyone to hear as well that um, it was not ill and ill intended the comment, and I didn't take it as an ill intent. Don't get me wrong; like that wasn't. I didn't. I never read it like that. Um, wait, does this give wood? No, it just gives fiddlehead fern. How many? We have two mossy seeds. I don't know how many more mossy seeds we're gonna be able to get. I should just prioritize the fiber. But yeah, no, and then they just talk about how, like, yeah, they just can't, um, what have you. This is, sorry, I just, like, I'm so overwhelmed with the amount of fiber. We'll see if I get up north. The hope is, because we didn't, I was saying we didn't talk to, um, Robin and crew. So it'd be cool to see what their dialogue is. We also didn't get a letter from Gus saying, hey, I've opened the saloon. Like, is everyone just kind of like, ah, that darn green rain again? I don't know. Anyways. Um, <laughs> and apparently I messed up something with Robin where I just probably forgot something, honestly. But yeah, and then they talk about just heartburn and stomach acid and, and GERD. Which is a little bit more complicated, I think. I don't know. I'm not the most best on uh, digestive tract issues. Um, but yeah, that was an awesome comment. I thank you for leaving that like very thoughtful comment on episode number nine. Episode number nine was a popular episode for comments. Hey, eh? was it's a great one. Then we have Bill the Puppeteer. Hello, Bill the Puppeteer. I have seen your name a little bit, hey? Um, just saying, you can call me Bill. So, hey, Bill. <laughs> um, and, yeah, thanks for pronouns, because I don't want to assume pronouns from people, because I don't know, especially if their name is, like, um, Fiber Gatherer. I'm like, I don't know who you are, and I don't want to assume things. So, hey, Bill, thanks for, thanks for dropping that. Um, saying that they just found their first ancient seed. Congrats. That's awesome. That's awesome. Hopefully you're already, by the time you hear me talking about this comment, if you're still sticking around, you have made an army of ancient seed plants from that one small little seed. You have 362 fiber already. It's crazy. And I'm not even being like the most efficient with this. Um, because that's always like the fun part is like propagating your, your ancient seed slowly but surely. Keep behind, we'll cut down this tree. We got another mossy seed. I'm not too worried about the mossy seeds. Maybe I should be. I don't know. Oh, there's a lot of like normal fiber mixed in with this like green rain fiber over here. Oops. Just been neglecting this area too hard. Um this is really I can, this is hard to like read the comments and focus on this. <laughs> Not gonna lie. Uh, let's see. Let's scroll up. Who do we have next? Oh yeah, we have um 
we have Leah Duff, who I think I mentioned already, let us know that NPCs don't actually destroy items anymore. So again, I thank you for telling me that. I addressed it in an earlier video, but I just want to pull it up again because I'm kind of reading the, the comments as I scroll, right? I'm scrolling from the bottom up. Are you doing okay, Hat Mouse? Um, boo -doo -boo -boo. And then there's a comment on my Hemlock series. The Cronus Wolf is still watching that. Um, and then I'm going to address this comment again. So this is Guerrero who brought up the drying machine. Um, so I just talked about that. That's why I want to bring it up again is that we are going to be using that, the dehydrator, for more fruits. Because I'm excited to see how we can actually make some money off of that with fruits. Throwing in a bunch of blueberries or cranberries or what have you. Gosh, you could spend is this normal? Like I, I know I'm not being the most efficient, don't get me wrong, and again my goal isn't to be the most efficient, but like do you normally spend the majority of the day just in cinder sap? Ooh, got some extra trees. I love how we're just gonna have extra trees because we've been whining about not having enough wood for like pretty much a whole season, hey. What if I woke up on the island? Would it be green rain on the island? That's something I'm okay hearing the answer to. Is the green rain only limited to the main valley? Or does it happen like everywhere in the game? I'm just looking for like the bigger patches now. I'm not gonna get these like tiny little ones. Yeah, I'd be okay hearing the answer to that because I'm just curious and I don't know if we're gonna have enough time to warrant running around everywhere else. I, I wish this fiber stayed. I'd have no problem cleaning up after it. I keep on thinking some of those big bushes are just like bushes. That's why I might have missed a few. Because I think they're like these or like these. I'm just not paying like close enough attention. Okay. I'm thinking we are going to go north to like the backwoods area now. Just so we can maybe catch Robin and crew. Anyways. Oh yeah, so we have a new, we have a new commenter. Which I'm super excited about. We have, um, let me just pull up your name because it might be something else. Um, oh my gosh, I'm stuck on everything. We have, um, currently, I think it's currently, currently dreamer. I'm so sorry if I'm saying your name wrong. It's sweetly sorrowed is your YouTube handle. Oops. But thanks for, I think this is the first comment I've seen from you. So hello. Thanks for commenting. Thanks for stopping by. I appreciate you. Um, they said that they are one of the anomalies that likes to fish in Stardew Valley. Um, but they can't they can't watch someone else when they're fishing because then they just get confused with like, was that their game or someone else's game that made the sound? Um, totally fine. I know I could change my fishing noise, but then I would just be confused by my own fishing noise. Let's go see how our project prepare trees to grow did. Yes, that's exactly what I was hoping to happen. Did these trees up here? Oh, yay, some of those grew too. Okay, so I'm curious if Sebastian will just like destroy those trees and they'll just explode everywhere. Did we, we didn't talk to Linus. How are you doing? Hi, did you sell fresh blueberries for the job? Linus, there's literally green rain coming out of the sky. You know what? It's a, it's a it's a thing of nature so of course linus is like i don't know whatever it's nature let it do its thing <laughs> um oh my gosh abigail's just walking up. okay so everyone's just kind of over the green rain after year one there's no demetrius hazmat demetrius abigail do you have something to say to this oh have you seen all the crazy trees around town everyone everything feels so different i feel like we're in a fairy world so okay abigail's like whatever oh no they're already closed not this year yeah, Abby's like, I don't know. Let my skin melt away, it's fine. Um, <laughs> but yeah, appreciate it. Um, sweetly Sorrowed. Hello, I'm coming back to you. Sorry, no, your name is currently, cur currently, currently. We can check out the quarry. Um, currently Dreamer. And please tell me how to say that properly. If I'm not saying it properly, I will not be offended by being corrected. I want to make sure I'm addressing you how you want to be addressed. 
Um, ooh, hello. Also said they found me recently when looking for Raphidax um, content as they missed that mod so much. Um, in the very earliest process of being updated to version 1.6 by two people in the Raphidax's Discord. Yeah, I saw that logo and... Uh, Shoot, I can't remember who else. I can't remember his name. Is it Egg? Onion? Something? Onion Ninja? Onion Ninja? I'm also in the Raphidax Discord, and I've been keeping a very close eye on that to see how that's progressing. So that's pretty cool. Um, but yeah, they've been watching because they're just missing the Raphidax content, and they popped into this series as well. So their original chickens' names were Polka and Dot, which is so cute as well. Hi, Sebastian. What is with all of Robins? I was hoping this weather would come back. It makes me appreciate the summer a little more. Nice. Okay, so that's, I'm assuming, dialogue for year two. Because, yeah, there, no one would be like, please come back. But year one was them freaking out it existed in the first place. Um, do, 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 do. And they've seen a second Beluga and Misty. Wow. Oh, we should go check the bus stop. The bus stop might have some stuff for us. A second beluga and misty that's so cool Ooh, let's cut down these because they might give us a few more mossy seeds i love how it's okay to actually cut down these trees in pelican town on this day normally we get that prompt saying better not destroy the town um and spring oh yeah there are some here nice okay i think this is all we're gonna have time for cut this tree down sign because it might just disappear i know some of these trees disappear Am I, oh, it's, is it, was I getting stuck in a big one? Yeah, this is a good spot to come. Holy. We've gotten almost a full stack of fiber. How many moss? 294. Definitely not as much as... Oh, shoot. I can't remember your name. I'm sorry, but... Um, we had someone who told us they got 561 moss, which I think is absolutely insane. That's crazy. Anyways, back to our friend here. Um, they said, I look forward to seeing the rest of your reactions to new things as I progress through the next however many videos it'll take me to catch up between other videos. So here's my question. Did you catch up? <laughs> did you catch up to me releasing these? Um, who knows? Because I did release six two-hour videos in one day. So, I don't know. Um, do 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 and that's all of that. Yep. I'm going to actually run up here because I know there's something up here I wanted to take a peek at as well. And that's this. Yeah. I think I've left that there for a while and that's my bad. Yay. Okay. So now we can store all of this. Crazy. Look at that. Look at that. Wow. Ruby. Okay, so because I'm super impatient, I actually... And I want to make one of these. Um, we have so many, like, random miscellaneous. So maybe I'll make two of them. And then can I make... Yes, I can make it. We're making... And let's make this one, too. Ooh, we'll wait until we have a few more iridium. But I want to put these bait machines down. Because I think these will come in handy. Yeah, I think those will come in handy. How much wood do we have? Oh my gosh, I'm opening everything except the thing. Okay, we have enough. I want to make... Oh, I get the original chest back? That's so awesome. Oh. That's so cool. I didn't... I wasn't... For some reason, why in my brain was I not thinking that we would get the original chest back? There! Now these are all big chests. This half done. Time to do the other half soon. Okay, I can put these away. I can ship these. Oh, shoot. These go away, too. And I can put this statue. Let's just put it right here for now. Hello. I'm excited. Can I... Oh, I passed out. Well, I got the statue down. <laughs> um, do, 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 do. Apparently, I walked away from a random gem at one point. A diamond. So, whoops. Right... But I think the irony, so this is from a Cronus Wolf, is they, they mentioned that I just walked past a random gem node. Um, but the irony is I was talking, it was like right after I was talking about missing things. So, oh, and now it's raining. Oh, <gasps> it's a storm day. 
Hi, Rue. Oh, Rue, you're here. Let's get you a new hat. Let's get us a new hat as well. What kind of hat are you feeling? What does the fedora look like on Rue? Um, oh, actually, let's try the blue ribbon on you. What does this look like, Rue? <gasps> That's so cute. I kind of want to put the fedora on you, Rue. Oh my gosh, it's like so oversized. I love that so much. Let's get this. Let's get this one on us again. I, I seem to always come back to this one. I don't know why. Um, actually, let's do... I know, I know, I feel like, I feel like Poxiel. Let's bring back the gray hoodie. And let's bring out the, what if I wear the blue ribbon? What does that look like? Cute! Oh my gosh, wait, this is so cute. Oh my gosh, how it sits on the back of your head? This looks so cute. Um, this would... This looks, this must look really nice with long hair. Like if you had a ponytail type hair, this, it looks like a butterfly. It looks like I have a butterfly sitting on the back of my head. Okay. So we can move our, we can move chestnut back. Um, we can also now make, wait, hello. <gasps> Blessing of waters. The first three fish you hook today will be much easier. Oh, okay. Apparently we're going to fish. That's cool. I like that. And it's like a, it looks like a separate buff. Um, okay, so before we do anything though, I want to make like Let's make just 10 cuz I want to kind of cover up a little bit of like this dirt kind of area, if that makes sense. Okay, this tree totally just blocked us from being able to go back there. There, okay, that should look pretty okay. Okay, we can get back to our regular... I didn't even check the weather. I didn't... Okay, I'll go check the TV after this. I'll check the TV after this. But yeah, we're gonna move back. We're gonna buy two wood chippers. I think it's been two episodes since I've said I've wanted to buy a wood chipper. Oh my gosh. Okay, my plan two... Sorry, I'm gonna take... Um, talk about this before I... Um... Also, where's the lightning? Before I get too much on a tangent again, let's actually bring these with us. And then we're going to do these, and then we need to go and do some prismatic jellies. Okay, let's see what's happening. It's Sam's birthday. Weather report is sunny and rainy. Okay, and it's a neutral luck day. Um, what was I saying? I don't remember what I was saying. Gosh, classic. Yeah, this makes me this I want this blue ribbon on a character with long hair. Like that'd look nice. Not necessarily a female hair, because I don't want to prescribe or like um encourage gender norms, especially in this woke age. I'm sorry if you if you have, you know, personal opinions otherwise, that's totally fine. I respect your own personal opinions. Um for me, my opinions are that people have been too indoctrined into certain gender norms and socialized into them but i'm not gonna get too much into that because i don't want to make this i don't want to make my channel too political even though i, I anyway sorry i'm not gonna eat <laughs> um sorry we're not we're not bringing sociology into this too much um but anyways yeah i like the blue ribbon and i'm gonna wear it because i think it's a very awesome design choice with the character design because it looks like a very it's like the color is actually really gorgeous too so, sorry if you don't like it. We're going to wear it for a little bit. That's all. Um, but I think most people within the Stardew community are um, pretty open-minded, wonderful people. So, anyways. If you're not, that's... Oh, no, our fences are starting to decay. I was wondering when this was going to start. Okay, so we need to make some fences and have them on hand going forward. Because uh, we need to be able to... Oh, just enough room. We need to be able to not get trapped. Is there some decaying down there? I can't tell. Anyways, let's go back to the comments. Um, talks about the music being too loud, which I'm sorry. I think I already acknowledged that. Okay, so this is from Robbie Roo, 321 Robbie Roo. I love how you're commenting so much. Also, I just don't have room. Can I put this duck feather in here? I can. Okay. And I have squash, which I can go put up. Let's craft 
50 fences, because that should be good for the next little while while they all decay. Um, okay, Robbie Roo says, um, this is in episode 9, they say it, and they timestamped it. I love it when y'all timestamp, heads up. Like, if there's ever you're commenting something, please timestamp, because I, for, I forget. Like, I'm like, wait, what did I say there? What was I talking about? So yeah, if possible, if you remember, just timestamp, I won't be offended by any sort of time stamping happening. It just, in fact, it just, it helps me. It helps me. Um, but anyways, Robbie Roos has a 2643. There is a slime on the cliff above the mine entrance. <laughs> um, they say, I'm sorry if this has been mentioned before or gets mentioned later. So you already know me too well, right? That I kind of play a little bit in the future, which again, oh shoot, I keep on getting distracted by things I want to talk about. But anyways, I put down a, fence please give it back to me yay um but they said sorry if it gets mentioned or was mentioned eggs are done um uh, sorry i'm can't think i'm like simple-minded right now um but what is what they say is that normal or have uh, have the slimes escaped so it is not normal <laughs> To answer you and i think i did maybe mention it but it's always worth mentioning again for folks because not everyone tunes in on the same episode again sometimes people tune in much later down the series just because of youtube algorithm stuff um no it's 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 not normal that was a little personal easter egg that i created totally not by mistake i don't know what you're talking about um <laughs> where i i had to get creative and basically redo a save file and part of that involved spawning monsters to get back to where I was in terms of monster eradication. I had to spawn in monsters and kill them to get the same monster eradication kill count. So I made an oopsie and my mouse was up here like this when I spawned in monsters because they spawn in you click and like a slime appears. So I was doing that and I accidentally clicked on the cliff when I was spawning green slimes to kill and a green slime spawns there. So that was that was an, an intervention by me <laughs> unintentionally. But yeah, um, town and we're going to go do Clint things. I should have brought five bronze bars, uh, copper bars with us and we are going to crack these and hope for a skull. Oh my goodness. That is beautiful. Oh, okay. We're just going to open the rest of these because why not? Oh, what is happening? Oh my gosh. Okay, I was like, if that's another banana sapling, I'm going to lose my mind. But it's not. It's okay. okay, let's see. Oh, yay. We already have one, but we need another one for a farm computer. You're not new. You're, uh, you're not new. But I feel like we can make a hat out of that. Ooh, I think you're new. Yeah. Okay, we got one new thing. I'll take it. What the heck? I should have split those up. Okay, let's do... We'll save those last. Let's do all these. Yay, that's what I was hoping for. Nice, that's also what I was hoping for because bombs are so darn expensive. What are you? Lobster bisque. I'm sure that's a... Probably like... Elliot, I'm assuming, probably likes that. Nice. Mix flower seeds. Mix seeds. Um, but yeah, that's what happened there. Um, 3, 2, 1, Robbie Roo. Yay, more bombs. And, okay, so now, next comment is Wolf Shadow Whisper, acknowledging that... Oh, we got another Ossify Blade. We can sell that one. Oh. Wait, what is that? Plus, plus defense. Uh, what? That looks so weird. Okay, maybe that's just because of the, the menu we're in. But that looks really weird how that's being displayed. But yeah, we named a we named the rabbit Whisper. Of course we did. You asked for the rabbit to be named Whisper, and ooh, thanks. We did. Um, what else? Have we gotten mystery boxes? No. Um, rock the ice pip. Thanks. And their favorite, your favorite fish to, um, your least favorite fish. Oh my gosh, I read favorite. I was like, your favorite fish. Wait, what is what is that? I wasn't paying attention. I was reading comments chowder oh that's fine oh yeah okay so it was just how it was displayed in there the ui was weird okay let's open these our first whatever these are golden oh is it just more chance to get the rarest 
We got just double the amount there. Oh, and lucky lunches. That's awesome. Wow. I like those. Okay, thanks, Clint. Okay, well, let's go and put all this stuff away. And then we need to go to Robin's. And then we're going to go to the mines. The mines. Um... But then they say sturgeons are also useful um, to you because you they are money makers when you put them in a fish pond. I agree. We are eventually going to be getting fish ponds, plural. Um, did I have... Whoa, there's so many things in here. Um, oh, we don't have like any of these in here. Okay. Put those in there. I'm going to put one of those in there. Mix seeds. I didn't even sort this. Oh, it's because we don't have any of those. That's why. We have a bunch of food. I'm going to have to expand our food chest soon, hey? And then I'm going to put these in the to go to island chest. Oops, I missed you. Um, I really, like, I'm sorry. If you can never follow along with my, like, my brain's going one direction and then it immediately 180s and goes another direction. Do we have... I feel like we might have an artifact in here that I've just been neglecting. No, I am doing okay. I'm doing okay. That's our fourth pearl. That's crazy. Um, And then coffee. Let's go make two triple shots. Do, 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 do. Or three. Oh, because there are some in the fridge. That's why. Um, and the ossified blade we can just take with us. Okay, I think that's everything. I could pop a lucky lunch if I wanted to. We're going to quickly drop off this, um, whatever this thing's called. Artifact. And I think I know where it goes. I don't even need to pull up the, the, the screenshot to tell me. But yeah. Um, Luke being a sweetheart and letting me know that this so I'm getting onto my community post. There's a few people that reply to this and there, there's definitely I want to acknowledge this. Okay, so this goes right beside the other one. Nice. Um, saying, you know, content is content. Don't beat myself up over it. Um, it's something that everyone experiences. So thank you for your wonderful supportive words there, Luke. As always, you're such a sweetheart. Um, and then we have Nutari also saying, I'm doing great. Thanks. That's, that's validation. Um, small bumps in the roads are to be expected. Keep up the great work. And off to binging some content. Yep, that, that'd be how that happens, right? Um, and then we have a Cronus Wolf chiming in too, wondering why he, why they were getting notifications for episodes when they're midway watching through one. And then this one I want to bring up. I feel like you have... Um, oh, what the heck? I just jumped again. Sorry. One sec. For some reason, I right-click over onto this oh, my other monitor, my... My stuff jumps all over. Oh no, I don't know how to say your name. It might be backwards. It's Aklis, Aklis La, and you have like a, a bitmoji as your display picture. So hello, because I think this is at least one of the first times I'm seeing you comment. So hello, Aklis La, and please tell me if I'm not saying that correctly. Um, but they said on the community post, they said, I used closed captions, which helped too. And that's for the videos where my audio is much higher than what am i doing oh yeah moving i'm moving chestnut back um, that's where the audio is much higher than oh yeah that's what i wanted was the grass to stick out i wish i could have gotten gotten some to stick out there oh is that how you know you've acknowledged it for the day nice anyways they said use closed captions which helped too so that's an awesome suggestion for those videos i kind of want to move rue closer so that rue is kind of over here I kind of want to put Rue here, like here-ish. I don't know where. Like maybe right there. I know I'm killing the grass, but... Because I want Rue to just be close, but I don't know where. I don't know where. I don't know where. Maybe we can make a nice little Rue spot over here. We'll leave it there for now, and then maybe we can decorate around it so Rue has a nice cozy spot to be. And I think that's all that I wanted to move... Yeah, because I kind of... Wait, we can maybe... I don't want to put this here because that will block this. But I do want to find another home for this one, but not like right beside our current home. It might end up down here a little bit, but I kind of like it close again to the entrance. 
Like I could put it here. It's fine right there. We'll leave it there for now. And then I can't really move the greenhouse. I'd want to move it over, but then it would have to move down. So this is really where it needs to be to fit. But yeah, I'd like a little gap in between personally. And I can't really, I could move this over. I could move it back and over one. Like here. And then maybe we'll have a bit more of a yard and we can still get around. Okay, let's try that. Um, and I need to now shop and not get distracted, not get distracted. Two wood chippers. <laughs> uh, um, <coughs> we're going to buy you soon a furniture catalog. Let's buy two more of these because I'm here. <laughs> and now we are also going to construct farm buildings and we're going to paint them. So let's see. Can we paint our house? No, because it needs to be upgraded. But we can paint this. So I like to go definitely more. Oh, I want to do the roof first because the roof is the most like distinguishable. I want to make you a bit more brown. And I'm probably going to change these a number of times. Heads up. What is the trim? Okay, so that's that. We don't want that. We want the building. And the building we're going to make a bit more green. And less saturated. And darker. And then the trim is going to be... We're st we'll start here with the base. But then I think we want to change it up a little bit. Let's desaturate it a bit and then lighten it up what if I make you a bit more not like that no 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 like golden no that looks too bad I or keep you in the gray land what if I make you a bit colder though it needs to be kind of there I want some contrast. Huh. Maybe I don't want a gray. The dark wood looks okay. Hmm. Let's try that. Let's try that and let's do a few other ones. So now I have these saved. So building is this color. Roof is that color. Trim is that color. Cool. We'll start with that and then I'll probably fiddle with these like 10 more times. So heads up. Definitely not <coughs> definitely not a permanent configuration, but we're going to we're going to change it up a little bit. Building, roof and trim. Yeah, cuz I don't really like the building color. Like I think I'd want this a bit darker. Like there. And then this roof, I think I want a bit darker too. Oh, you can save so many colors. Have you always been able to save this many colors? There we go. Okay, a little bit darker for that one. Building, dark, roof, darker, trim, darker. Yay. Building, roof, and trim. Yeah, that looks fine. Can we color you? No. Can we color you? No. We can color you, though. Building, roof, and trim. It's very dark, but it's okay. So let's try it. Let's try it. Let's see those darker colors on here. Oops. Oh, I'm doing these all backwards, aren't I? Okay, so what if I change that up so that it's building roof? Ooh, do I like that? I like that, but not the roof. Like the roof would be, have to be a different color. What if we make it like a really rusty dark red? No, what about a blue? Like a very cold blue, gray blue. Let's, war let's bright, hello? Oh my gosh, I couldn't grab that. There we go. Let's bring in here a little bit. No, 
I like that. What if we just make it this round? No. Uh, I like it better when it's like this with the green roof for some reason. I do like that though, that brown and... Uh, like that really dark green. If I could make it like a... Yeah, that's fine. Okay, there, we colored some of our buildings. I said we were gonna do that too. I got to it. Maybe someone commented on there. Don't know. Okay, um, I think that's everything we wanna do here. Yes, I think that's everything. Okay, next. Next, we have another comment. But yeah, no, hello, Atlas La. I appreciate you stopping by and add, having some comments. We're gonna get to another one that I saw you comment, um, comment on. So we'll, we'll get to that one. Um, oh, I love how maybe the, the raindrop signifies that it's um, like a fishing based one. Um, doo -doo 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 -doo. Um, yay, another Rue gift. So that's another thing to Nutari, which maybe is a comment after. Um, suggested that like, or maybe told, I don't know. But I think we're at the point now where it's okay, especially if you're watching this playthrough. That, and yes, we're going to try and fish for, oh, I don't have a cork bobber. That's okay. Make use of this easier to catch. Whoa, it's a tennis ball. Is that what it is? Um, oh, does that count as one? No, so it has to be an actual fish. Okay. Um, Nuitari kind of suggested that like max friendship animals um, give gifts. Max friendship pets. So that's pretty cool. So thanks for sharing. Are we going to actually hook a lava eel? Um, and then Wolf Shadow Whisper is also noting how awesome the quarry is now too. Um, and then the absolutely terrifying mannequin. Um, Wolf Shadow Whisper said they're just going to keep theirs in the mines. I mean, that's probably a good place for that cursed mannequin. Gosh, and we got two of them by the time I'm responding to these comments. Hello? Okay, a lot of cave jelly though. That's nice. Um... And then Nuitari, so this might be spoilers heads up, where we talk about the how much, ooh, yay. Okay, I need, I need to focus for this, because I'm, oh wait, this is like ridiculously easy. Let's go and try and catch the legend while we have this buff for two more. We'll see if we get lucky hooking the legend. The odds of us it being the one of the first two fish that we get low. Okay, I think we can get it off of here. That's not a max cast, so I don't want that. That's not a max cast. That's not a max cast. My goodness! It's because I'm stressed. <laughs> there we go. Um, but yeah, okay, so this might be a spoiler. Sorry if you just pause or mute or whatever. Is this a legend? It is not. Can I cancel out? Will that... Oh, that eats a buff. Okay, that's fine. If we don't get it, we don't get it. Cool, it was a chub. Anyways, that was the buff. Um, and it's in regard to how much EXP you get from skill books. So if you don't want to know, that's totally fine. But this is Nuitari sharing from, I'm assuming, Wikipedia. Or they might just know this themselves. Um, we are also going to be resetting five... 15 etc because i'm gonna want oh we're looking for the prismatic jelly do i we're looking for the prismatic jelly also that was an iridium quality lava eel so you know what the heck we're putting into a fish pond later um i guess i don't have any way of knowing which rocks will give geodes hey then you actually hit them prismatic jelly that's what I normally do is I normally just reset floor five because it's like the there's less monster spawns, I think. So we're going to do that. But yeah, anyways, skill books. Wow, this is taking me like five minutes to say this. I'm so sorry if you like really don't want to know. I'm actually going to say it right now, right now, is that um, um, players earn 250 EXP towards a certain skill after reading a book with the message saying you've learned a few things about whatever skill it is. Um, the Book of Stars, which I think we've seen from the... Oh, it's Sam's birthday. I'm so bad. 
Um, I'm so bad. The Book of Stars gives 250 to all skills. And then there's a Book of Power that if you read it again, I think we've seen that with some of them, they give 100. So, and again, I think I said for level 10 in a skill, you need 5,000 experience. So those, you need to read a lot of those books if you're banking on just getting experience from those books. Um, not a bad thing, but yeah, that's good to know. Thanks. I was wondering what the numbers were because that, that now we know that you'd have to read a lot of those books to get a level up to level 10. Um, and then I had the reaction to winter grass, which is, I'm still blown away by that. That's like the reason why, and maybe I said it during winter, but maybe y'all couldn't hear it. I don't know. Um, the reason, one of the reasons why I was so excited about winter grass is because now you can decorate and it won't just like immediately vanish into thin air, right? Like once winter hits, you can actually spend some time decorating your farm. I want a geode, which is great. Like that is so, I'm like, now I can have, I have confidence decorating the valley, right? I can decorate the valley to my heart's content, knowing that those decorations will stay. Are you gonna, hey, I was like, are you going to shoot that one? Yay. And then we have Wolf Shadow Whisper saying, congrats on completing the community center. That was episode 13. Episode 13, we completed the community center, which is awesome. And they also said they can't wait to see that tree get fixed to see what the tree will look like. Because I was also super curious. I mean, I'm still devastated. I wish that they just... It was kind of like, oh, look at this hole appeared in the tree. I wonder what will happen here. <laughs> but that's okay. Um, same with Nuitari saying, excited to see what's up with the stump. I appreciate you because I think later on you allude to, like, it's you talk about it like you already knew. So I, I, I appreciate you keeping me in the dark, which is great. Um, I'm giving designing tips or designing inspo to Luke, which is awesome in terms of where my greenhouse, I place the greenhouse, which is still there. Um, again, I'd like to, I'd like to kind of fiddle with it, but it's kind of hard, at least with our current get up. And then Luke also noticing the terrifying cursed mannequin and they don't want to put theirs out. None of these slimes are prismatic. Oh, but we got in golden mystery box. I'm not going to go down a floor because floor six kind of sucks for seeing really quickly. Um, as I learned in my hemlock playthrough trying to get this exact same special order quest done. Um, Rue looks super cute with the hat. Thanks. I'm excited for you to see. I try to switch it up every so often. Um, Nuitari reminded me that I was going to make a mayonnaise machine, which I probably took me about a month to make after that point. And also that's where the answer the what the heck? Did something else just die? You're not supposed to be in here. I kind of want to kill you, but you're not changing colors, so I don't want to run all the way there. Do, 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 do. And then New Itari pointing out that yeah, the raccoons wanted both coconut and um, cactus things. Nope, not going to go down. Do, 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 do. Luke pointing out he's excited to see what 1.6 brings to Ginger Island. I think, well, I, I actually don't know if we've seen everything. I have no idea. We still have a lot to explore. There's a lot of slimes here though. If I was not super pressured to be also completing this and this, then I would probably go and kill those, but we need to get as many resets on this floor as possible. Rue in the sailor hat. I agree. Rue in the sailor hat was absolutely adorable. Absolutely adorable. Like we'll definitely be putting that back on. Um, and then, yeah, I mentioned Wolf Shadow was sort of pointing out the um, the mineral we sent, Sara's piping in with me, pulling an oops with recording volume, saying it's okay, I appreciate you, I appreciate that support there on that one, thank you, you're awesome. Um, and Daras has said that they have never let Pierre fight Morris with the community center cutscene, that's cool. I feel like I've done both options just because I was like, well, what's going to happen? Like, I think my first playthrough, I was like, what's, what is the old fashioned way? Because I, I wasn't watching Stardew content on the, when I first played Stardew, like way back in the day. So I was like, what do you mean old fashioned way? I just was like culturally ignorant, I guess, um, in terms of common jargon. But yeah, so I think I have seen that, but like, yeah, I definitely don't condone the violent option anymore. 
Um, and then another, sorry, Sarah, mentioning something about one of my Rapidax videos um, that I sneezed and forgot to unmute on. Do, do, do. And then Aklis, Aklis coming in yet again with such a helpful, wonderful comment where they said that they found for the Squid Fest using wild bait was very handy so wild bait lets you get two fish per bait so we could even use the challenge bait in this upcoming year if we wanted to for squid fest to just complete it that much quicker hello okay no prismatic slime today which is okay if only we had the monster musk that this quest would give us um well shadow whisper saying epic way to end year one because again we got the we got a lucky ring and then we got our prismatic shard to get our galaxy sword all within that one skull caverns dive which is insane insane okay and then the next comment is from someone new so it might take them a while to um reach this point so hello um hello me from the future i guess or the past depending on how you want to look at it it's also 1:30, so i should go um this comment goes out to lara howell Lara Howell, 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 um, who said, i so, so happy I found your videos. Also, where's Chestnut? I'm going to pass out. Um, they're perfect to have on in the background whilst working slash sleeping. <laughs> Did I time that well enough? Um, love the super series so far. Thanks, Lara. So happy for you to stop on by. So happy to have you here. Um you were on episode two when you commented that and that was two hours ago as of me right now recording so you got yeah a lot of content to work through i hope you do enjoy it and i hope you're still around um if you are the booksellers in town if you're still around let me know be like yep still here checking in <laughs> that'd be cool to see if you made it to this point to episode 20 something because that's 20 episodes later than what we are it was a good luck day okay um yeah, that'd be cool. So happy for you to stop on by. And then we have... <clears throat> I think Luke might have also mentioned this. I can't remember. I passed out. We have a bunch of batteries to collect. Um, this is crazy. This is so big. Then we have Wolf Shadow Whisper chiming in with the mastery stuff is so cool. Yeah, I think Luke mentioned it that they haven't gotten there yet. Yeah, the mastery stuff is super crazy. So I'm sorry if I'm kind of spoiling it a little bit for you because you haven't gotten that far in your game. I... I got there a lot quicker than I thought I would. And I honestly, if you're watching at this point, like I completed it um, honestly a lot quicker than I thought I would too. So, oops, that's all I wanted to put in there. I wanted to put those in there. Yeah, I completed it a lot quicker than I thought I would as well. Let's see what our buff is for the day. Hello, what buff do you have for us? The prismatic butterfly is waiting for you somewhere in the valley. What? What the, what? What does a prismatic butterfly do? How will I know? Now I need to like look at all the- oh, What does it do? Is it just like a fun little easter egg thing? What's a prismatic butterfly? Oh my gosh, I'm gonna lose my brain. Is it up here? Where's this prismatic butterfly? <laughs> oh, why would you do this to me? Can't say that. Really leave me hanging. Oh, that's not the hardwood I wanted. Um, hi, Rue. Look at you with your cute hat. Yay. Okay, so we finally have these to fin finish off this area. Nice. So this is pretty much going to be the last rotation we do of these, which is fine. For a while, until we kind of build up our hardwood stock yet again. Yeah, because we have three left, so we're going to hang on to that. Um, but that's all the comments. So again, I'm sorry that I was like um, probably quite scattered. Um, but that's the nature of this. And that's me trying to multitask and do things and remember things and read things and, you know, the usual. The usual. Okay, I'm going to hold on to these so just we can see how many total we get. Ooh, it's an oak resin day too. Oh, and it's a blueberry day. Yeah, we definitely overcrafted the lightning rods, but that's okay because now it means one, our crops are protected, and two, that we will get as many lightning strikes as we possibly can. I don't know if that's how that works. I don't know. Usually I use a lightning mod. 
not gonna lie. Not for more lightning, but just so that my crops don't get destroyed, because that really, oh shoot, upsets me when my crops get destroyed from lightning. Um, I feel like we didn't get nearly as many lightning as we have. So we got like 19 or something last time, didn't we? Oh, and our, our blueberry jelly is up. Wow. Yeah, we only got like 11. I mean, I should be thankful that we got 11. We also got 155. That's how many we got last time too. That's freaky. This is very dark. I think I want to do the trim maybe a bit lighter. Yeah, maybe I'll go and do trim a bit lighter. This, this is going to be a lot of this heads up of me just fiddling with things and seeing how it looks. And even once the seasons change, I'm going to be like, eh. Also, this blueberry jelly looks amazing. That color is so beautiful. That's such a beautiful color. Okay, let's see how much this blueberry jelly sells for. Can I keep one in here? So pickled squash, pickled summer squash is 196. This is 210. So pretty comparable, but the blueberry jelly sells for more and we get more of them. So yeah, we're gonna switch to that. Was it a, was it a, it wasn't a coffee day, but we can do a coffee rotation while we're in here. But yeah, no, thanks for letting me kind of be distracted and respond to comments. I don't normally stare off on another screen that often. That's why maybe it was me just like not being nearly as efficient, but you all had such wonderful things to say. So I appreciate it. Okay, so we'll do these two here. And then I have two new plants here to kind of change it up a little bit. Oh, do I need, I need to put these in different order. I need to put down this one first. There we go. There we go. Okay, and then we have two more to play with, which is fun. Okay, let's grab all of this oak resin before we go do animal things. Okay. Mm. And maybe there was more comments like while I was reading that. Let's see. Nope. Okay, good. Oh, and this fence is going toast on us. Looks okay here. Ooh, there's a weed right there. There's an imposter. Anyways, let's pet all of our animals that are down here decimating our poor grass. They're gonna start eating the hay and I think that's okay. Like that's, hey, that's okay. <laughs> Sorry, I know I'm the most lame human alive. Um, There might be a fence decaying back there. Where was that? There it is. Oh, you were a mossy seed. How did we do? We nailed it today. Wow, we did so good today. What did I just, I meant to put the mossy seed there, whoops. Grab, 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 grab. Ooh, another iridium duck feather. Okay, so we're gonna be um, hopefully finishing the prismatic jelly because I want to get to the island sometime this episode. I also just forgot to be looking for it. Where is Chestnut? I need the horse whistle so bad. I need the horse whistle so bad. We also, this is crazy. This is crazy. Um, oops, oops. We also have 299 subscribers, which again, I'm not like focused on that. But the fact that there's like almost 300 people that like, like what I'm doing to some extent, that's awesome. Like, thanks for, thanks all of you. Um, not all 299 people probably watch this series because I know there's a lot of, I had a lot of people who are very, were very interested in my Rapidax series, but, um, so they might not be here, but like 299 people watching me be a forgetful mess of a human that's just you know again at the end of the day only human um thanks like wow wow i am so blown away by the support that y'all are showing um how i don't know how i was doing these before how was i doing these i need to pull that up actually because i need some pathing okay and then i don't know if there's a fence there was a fence decayed there okay um, let's go and get some pathing to fix that up a little bit. 
Yeah, that's crazy. There's gonna be a the I think it's like gonna be the last episode of um the last episode of spring coming out today, and that episode's a fun one. There's a lot that happens in that episode, so I'm hoping everyone enjoys it. Uh, let's grab you. Nope. Nope. Look at Rue with the fedora. Oh my gosh. Oh, thanks for the sunfish, Rue. Thanks for the 45 gold. I appreciate it. Um, We are going to... What was I doing? Pathing, right? Did I make some wood path or do I have... I do. And that means that we can... Chestnuts, you're going to be in the way. Pull up. I probably could have just done this. We can pull up this path. Put one here. Put that there. Put this there. Yeah. And where the heck did I have these? Okay, so you are in line with that. So that can go in line with this. I wish I could put pathing underneath here. Ah, but I just ship it instead when I do that. And then... Because I had two. Did I put you just like back here? Is that where I put this? Because I can't put one here because that just doesn't make sense. I want to put a path there though. That's going to bug me. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, and we still have two. Okay, sure. Whatever. It looks fine. It doesn't look fine. That's going to bug me. Actually, maybe we can do that. Maybe we can just like alternate like that and then we can fill it in with other things. Okay. I need to, I need to get on. It's 350. It's 350. We gotta, we gotta get our booties in gear. I need to upload more of the Rapidax series. I think springtime is coming to a close. And I mean, I have all the summertime videos. I just haven't uploaded them. So that's kind of a yikes. Nope. Our goal is to get three more regular geodes as well for our raccoon friends. So we're going to be like intermittently hitting rocks. I could have kept those cherry bombs on us actually. That probably would have helped with this a little bit. Priority prismatic slime. We're going to hit like just the occasional rock. The occasional rock. Nice, an amethyst. Oh, there's the bookseller. There's the bookseller. Let's go to the bookseller. We need to go to Marcello. Because he might have some books for us. Who knows? Hi, Pam. Yeah, I'm blown away by the support. And again, I'm going to be responding to these comments after this recording. I've gone to a point where I can only record one episode a day, which is nice because that means things are going to catch up. Which leads me to what I wanted to talk about that I completely forgot to talk about, which is... Um, can I trade in the books? Oh, right. See, Jelly. I should just bring the books because I think these are more or less the same. Uh, they're more or less the same. Let's buy books to see what we can buy. We have... Queen of the Sauce cookbook. Learn any Queen of Sauce recipes that you don't already know. What? Is that the missing book that we don't have? That thing is 50,000. Okay, well, that's expensive and we don't have that money, but that's cool. Is that like, because we're missing one book? Is that the Queen of Sauce cookbook? Hmm. I bet you it is. I bet you it is. So that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. So I'm not going to worry too much about bringing the books. We'll bring them when we don't have such a time-gated quest to work through. But yeah, that's 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 the plan. Okay, we checked them out though. I was wondering, okay, so Queen of Sauce cookbook. That's a new one. That's definitely a new one. And back to resetting these floors to see if we can find a rainbow slime. I'm going to sneeze, I'm going to sneeze, I'm going to sneeze, I'm going to
I'm back and I'm making sure that my mic is picking up sound. <laughs> Should I have popped a, one of those lucky lunches or like a, a spicy eel? Would that have helped? I don't know. I remember complaining about this last time I did it too. And you can go, like I've seen people go to like floor like 100 plus or whatever. I don't know. I just know that slimes pretty much um, reliably spawn on this floor. Ooh, hello. And also we're getting some rock cat crab kills, which is nice. Sure, you dropped a yellow dwarf scroll. We'll collect you. Oops. Do, 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 do. Where's our rainbow jelly? Do, 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 do. Wow, my quiver didn't shoot that bug. I thought it would have shot that bug. Where is our rainbow jelly? This would have been a good bomb spot, man. No rainbow jelly. This is, I know this is like literally the most exciting content anyone has ever watched before. That's why I'm just trying to make it last as long as possible. So we can just watch black screen load, black screen load, black screen load, black. <laughs> Where's this jelly? Ooh. I'm very curious about our rock crab. Also, we didn't find this butterfly. I don't know what that does. I'm sure we'll get that buff again, though. I'm sure we'll get it again, so I'm not too worried about it. Watch was never see it again. Devastation. There's a rock crab there, which we can probably get on our way back. Sure, we'll grab the crab, because we can make a crab cake from you. We can make a crab cake from you. But yeah, I'm going to be recording probably one episode a day, or no episodes a day so it's actually kind of nice that I have over recorded but then this means that y'all will catch up to me so I'll be responding to comments a lot sooner in the episodes um so leave more <laughs> um but yeah the the recordings will catch up to me recording um shortly because Especially this upcoming weekend is when I usually do the bulk of my recordings is on the weekends. I'm going to be quite busy with real life stuff. So I'm not going to be able to record nearly as much, if at all. Um, but I think I have a good three or four day buffer right now. Because um, I think this episode will come out on the weekend that I'll be busy. Even though it's definitely not the weekend right now. If you're watching this in the future, it might be, I don't know. It might be, you might be watching this on a Saturday or Sunday, but it's not when I'm recording it. So yeah, that just keep in mind. I'm still going to try and do my best to have a daily episode. Cause again, I'm a huge fan of daily content and having something to look forward to, but like having a two to three hour episode every day, that's, that's, um, that's a lot of time. That's a lot of time. <laughs> Um, that's a lot of time, so we'll see, but that is my plan, okay, and if I don't, oh, there you are, there you are, there you are, there you are, there you are. Yay, oh, and we got two, oh, I'm so sad that it's gonna go away, it's gonna disappear on us, tragedy, okay, so before anything, um, which might be, it's okay, we can turn it in tomorrow, I wanna see what our slime and rock crab eradication's at, 903. Rock crabs are at 57. Okay, so we'll definitely finish that in Skull Caverns. We just need, when we see iridium rock crabs, we actually need to not get annoyed by them and just kill them. Um, yeah, we're not going to make it to the de um, geez, the wizard in time, but that's awesome that we finished that because now we can go to um, Ginger Island tomorrow. We can go to Ginger Island tomorrow. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. We are going to bring Chestnut with us. Sorry. Sorry for the teleport spam. When we chest are not with us. Oh, I have also decided that I'm going to be doing a lot of decorating in the winter. Like, we're actually not going to be planting a lot of crops. Especially that first week back into winter. Um, wait, is that a wedding veil? 
That's so funny. I didn't even notice I got this. I didn't even notice I dropped. That's so funny. Um, I really like that blue ribbon though. I hope that some of you got it and are hoping to use it because it looks, it's just a nice hat. Like out of all the hat options, it's a really nice hat. Uh, boop and boop. And actually, you know what I want to do? I kind of want to, oh there, just switch the hat. Wait, it switched everything. I didn't want to switch everything. I just wanted to switch the hat because I want to wear the squid hat. There we go. You can wear that because you're cursed. I'm kidding. The wedding veil is not cursed. Um, what I want to do is craft. This is like a, a tradition of mine. I could just make the mini forge, but I think I want to hold on to... I kind of want to make this too because now that we have... It costs three iridium bars, though. That's expensive. Um, this is a little tradition of mine that I do with the prismatic jelly because it goes away. It disappears. Actually, I'll wait until to I'll wait until tomorrow to do it. We'll just go to bed. Um, the prismatic jelly, even if you get double, once you hand it in, it vanishes on you, and that's so sad. Did I pet Rue? I did. So we try to immortalize it somehow. Nice. Did I do something or not do something that I wanted to do? Probably. Probably. Will I remember? Uh, that's also debatable. <laughs> okay, let's see. Let's see what's going on today. We have Demetrius's birthday. I need to actually try to get to Demetrius. Demetrius, I don't know what actually... I'm thinking he likes diamonds, but that might just be fuzzy in my brain. No, he doesn't. He likes bean hot pot, ice cream, rice pudding, and a strawberry. So that is fuzzy in my brain. And it is a neutral lactate. That's okay. Yeah, we're going to take care of business real quick here. I think it might be a coffee day, which is great. Might... No, wait, no. It's, I think it's Sundays are... Um, do I need to fish anything from Ginger Island? I don't think so. Do I... Oh, that's what I was going to look up to. Right, okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab this with us as well. Let's get what our buff is today. Oh, that's awesome. That's kind of because I want to try and catch the Dorado. Rue, you're over here. Hi, Rue. Oh my, hello. Okay, well, I'm gonna hold on to that if I haven't already. Thanks for the sturgeon, Rue. That's crazy. Do I have a sturgeon in here? No. Nice. Uh, thanks, Rue. I was going to be looking for one of those. I don't know if quality impacts... Um, I don't know if quality impacts, like, fish ponds. Like it does in some mods, where it's like if you put in a gold star surgeon, you get the... Like, when you fish them out, you get gold star. Um, I don't know if that happens. I think we can grab our peaches. I forgot that peaches were a thing for a while, I'm not going to lie. Seed? No seed. But we can plant these two. Makes me so sad that we can't bring Chestnut across this bridge because Chestnut's too chonky. It's because I also just did not fertilize those. That's why they're not spreading seeds. It is a um, coffee day. Yeah, we're going to be doing a lot of decoration overhauling uh, in winter. Just because then the animals won't be out. Um, and we just have less, like, and especially if we're not doing crops, then we'll have time to focus on that a little bit more. Okay, let's go and grab the other coffee in here. Man, I'm going to want to play more than one episode a day. Like, I just like Stardew too much. One episode a day is not enough for me because then when I'm not playing, I'm just too addicted that all I'm thinking about is playing. And I'm almost to the point where I think I can start just playing other files um, without just spoiling myself because I, I, fe I feel like we've seen seen a lot of spoilers. I, I, I think there's still some, still some new content for us to explore. Just again, for me getting spoilers myself from like 
It's mainly from YouTube thumbnails on people's YouTube channels, which I was like, oh my gosh. Stop trying to clip clickbait so hard. You're just spoiling me and now I'm upset, which I know I'm an outlier. Most people don't actually care that much. If anything, it's a it's a clickbait, so it draws them in, right? But for me, I was like, oh, I didn't want to know that something like that existed. I don't know what it is, but now I know there's a new thing, you know? And I'm not going to say anything that I'm referring to because I know some of you are also in the same boat. Um, did I pet everyone here? Beluga. Just Beluga. Where's Beluga? There you are. But yeah, so I know that there's still some stuff for us to um, discover, really. And we'll get there. I love how that all fits on one row. Ooh, I don't know if I'm going to like that plant there because of that. I don't know if I'm going to like that plant there. Still getting buzzed. Still ignoring my buzzing. Are we caught up on truffles? No, is the answer. We're going to have to start giving some animal crackers to our chickens. Because we are catching up. Um, we're catching up on this side of things. But no, we'll probably still give them the milks. We'll give them to our cows. Just because we like the cheese. Like, look at that. 237 gold quality cheese. That's excellent. Alright, let's run back here with Chestnut because we need to bring Chestnut down to Cinder Sap with us. But we can do a little bit of tidying up first. And then actually we'll finish tidying up a little bit. I didn't see any... um. Did I catch? Maybe I'll bring the fishing rod with me. I didn't see any decayed fences, so we'll put that away for now. Okay, let's go turn in this prismatic... Hello, jelly. I really need to upgrade my trash can. Even though I know it's, what is a 60% return? Which isn't anything to... I'm sorry, I'm trying to find the geodes eventually. Hello. Tea sapling, good cabbage... Um, I don't know if we're going to make it to Demetrius. Oh my gosh. Too many things. I want to be able to get through the volcano today. Because we need the cinder shard still. Oh yeah, right. Okay, so what I like to do here is I like to put the sign right outside the wizard's house. And I like to go, boop, there you go, a memento. Ah, you've returned from the hunt. Uh, I sense that you were successful. Now hand over the jelly and be gone. I have important, sorry. Now hand over the jelly and be gone. <laughs> I have important work to do. Um, and we got 5,000 gold. What the heck? The wizard's rich. Um, yep. Yeah, because now we have immortalized that prismatic jelly. We didn't do it with the ectoplasm. Because, I don't know, the ectoplasm is, I'm just kind of like, eh, with the ectoplasm. <laughs> the prismatic jelly I like to immortalize. Because it's just been something that I've just done every playthrough. Um, oh, right. Oh, that's not today though. But apparently we can catch a Dorado summer 6 a.m. to 7 p.m. in the river. But that's not a Dorado. <laughs> I love the sonar bobber. Was that a new record? Why did it make like the happy noise at us? Have we never caught a sunfish? Was that our first time catching a sunfish? Well, it can't tell you now, but that'd be so funny if that was like our first sunfish catch. I don't know what that is. Legendary, 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 legendary. Wait, is this a legendary? What is this? You're a legendary. This is the Dorado, I think. Glacier fish. I don't know. Slime Jack. I don't know what that is. And I don't know what you are. We'll figure it out. Oh, yay! This is one of the ones that I actually wanted.
Can we get one more? Also, this is a pike that Alex wanted that has expired us. There, okay, that's enough. So that must have been our first. Are you kidding? Do, 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 do. Ooh, treasure chest. Wait, we can get gold treasure chests now, can't we? I think we only. Yeah, because we got all five of the masteries. I want to see what a gold treasure chest looks like. See what we get from a. Oh, thank you. Wow, that's all really good stuff. Okay. I don't want sunfish. I want another. What is that? Rainbow trout? What are these things called? I already forget. Yay! Oh my gosh, that's one more geode. Yeah, I want another rainbow trout. You're not what I want either. Oh my gosh. Can you give us another geode? Because we have three. Actually, can you give us two geodes? Sad when fishing is a more reliable way for geodes than breaking rocks. Okay, a lot more row. I have to make some like separate preserves jars for all this row we're getting. So many chubs. Let's just cancel out of the chubs, honestly. It's not like the, the bait or the energy is of a consequence to us. I'm also not going to be able to get up the volcano in this amount of time. If we don't get another one, that's fine. <gasps> Yay! That's what I wanted. Please don't... No, 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 no. Because did you know that on my Switch save, the last thing that I needed for perfection, the last thing that I needed for perfection was a Dorado. So we're already doing better than that. I also got perfection year seven on my Switch save because it was my very first save. And for the longest time, like I didn't even know what perfection was. No idea. Um, Ginger Island wasn't even out when I started that save. It was in 1.4, so... So I think I played a good, like, four years. Yay! I played a good four years before... Oh, crap, I wanted you to be Iridium. Because I don't think that matters, but that's okay. I played a good four years before Perfection was a thing. Because I got the, um, the Statue of Endless Fortune. But not the, yeah, not the Statue of True, whatever it's called. Okay, that looks good. Okay, let's rock and roll back to our farm, like, real quick, because it's... 250. We got a boogie. We got a boogie. This is so cute. The raccoon family. Oh, we need geodes. We need geodes. I'm so sad. They're sad too. I know they're sad. Okay, so what I want to do is do we just take you and do we just like throw you in here? We do. I don't know what this does, but there we go. Okay. Um... Oh, and you just make bait. That's awesome. Okay. Um, forage. Doesn't forage. Okay. And then we have a bunch of rows. And I think this will be... Wait. Oh, was one a sunfish? Oops. I didn't mean to put a sunfish in there. Let's put some pike in there too so we can catch a pike if we need to. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Um, And we can come back for that. That's fine. So I want to put this and we'll put the sunfish because I think in the chub because we might need that. I don't know. And we'll put this in there. Okay. Anyways, now that this is becoming even more and more chaotic as we go, let's grab you, 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 you and you. And then we're going to grab you and you. And I'm going to come over here. 340. Ah. I don't know. And I'm going to put the... I didn't want to grab you. I didn't want to grab you. Shoot. I'm going to put that in there knowing that it will just... We'll never see it again. Speaking of never seeing things again, if you notice, we did not keep the eggs from the 
Calico Festival, which, again, someone may have commented. Someone may have commented, which is awesome. I haven't seen those comments yet, so I wouldn't know. I wouldn't know. Oh, fine. This will make a beautiful quill. I feel inspired already. I was like, oh, fine, we'll give it to Elliot. Um, how are we doing here? Oh, we got new ones. Ooh, we got a cool little void thing. All right, sure. What are you selling? What bait are you selling? Flounder bait. I don't know if we care that much about flounder bait. I'm going to buy four cork bobbers while I'm here and I remember to. Um, and let's rock and roll. It's 4.30 p.m. We're probably not going to make it up the um, island today. Yay, Gus is here. That's awesome. Okay, so we want to buy this mango wine from him for um, the missing bundle. And we got... Um, do, 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 what's that thing called? We got the, the recipe from him, which is what we wanted. Look at everyone. Just a bachelor, bachelorette kind of day there. Prospective partner day. PP day. A PP day. Um, I didn't mean to bring both of these. I just meant to bring one of these. And, um, yeah, I think we need to hoe up some of this ground. Looks like I can ignore the, um, crops for today. Is that enough spots? No, we need 12. Okay, okay. I'm running out of time, but I think it's very important to plant these. I just need to be kind of strategic because I know that the spots will expire. How many do I have? Nine. There we go. Is there anything we want to bring from here up? Um, no. No. And let's try to blast through after we drop off this. We need a mummified bat. That's literally the only thing left we need, hey? Oh my gosh, can I get through? We'll come deal with this tomorrow. So we'll kind of spend some time. We'll do a, a sweep of this place after tomorrow. Yeah, we just need literally, I think it's the mummified bat. Yep. Yay. Hey, you know, it's a truly fascinating piece of natural history. Thank you. And we do look at that. That's with historian. Another full set completed. We've got a little something waiting for you behind the counter. When you're ready for it, collect rewards. Six and another banana sapling. We have enough for that warp home farm tome thing, which is great. The totem. Sorry, I was calling it a tome. That's because I usually use a alternative texture. No, it's just a content patcher mod, I'm pretty sure. Um, that changes the warp totems to make them book tomes. I'm gonna hang on to that because we have the four precious stones. We have we have um this quest. I have to collect them though. So maybe we'll bring it with us. Because I want to be able to get yeah, okay. We're going to get, be able to get Ar Archaeologist or whatever it's called on our hoe. So we have to collect them. Well, that changes my plans and that makes me nervous. Also, it's 7 p.m. So this is going to be a run the snot through here as quick as possible. No, there is no stopping only for cinder shards that we see. <gasps> what the heck? Floor one? Because again, the... Whoa! Thank you, you know, read my mind there. Um, the magma sprites were super close. I can't remember some of. Oh my god, what the heck is this floor? Both the tri we don't even need to go to the top because that's part of the reason why I wanted to do this was just to get these. Whoa, there's only three in that one, but still, can't believe we got those. So does that mean floor nine will not have a treasure chest? I think that's one of the first times. Is that a new floor? Is that normal? Is that normal to get? A double treasure chest floor. I don't think I've ever seen both treasure chests on one floor. 
Also, what the heck, we're already on floor three. I don't know where the exit is, not there. Do the work for me, Quiver. Well, that's not where I wanted to go. Look at it. Um, oh my gosh. Wolf Shadow Whisper, it's your favorite music, I'm assuming. <laughs> Please give me Cinder Shards. I care more about the Cinder Shards and your um, flaming bodies than the getting you as a, a kill towards mine. We also need less than a hundred slimes. Like that's, when did that happen? Ooh, coal, oh my gosh, so much coal. I love how there's coal in here now. That's That's an awesome change. Because that just incentivizes the volcano dungeon even more. Just to get the coal. Also, I might just wait until I keep on taking damage to heal with um, a magma cup. Because I'm lazy. Oh yay, a, a lava lurk. Whoa, it dropped everything. That's so cool. This is, is this like a really good luck day? Did I just forget what the TV said? This is crazy, the amount of luck we're getting. Also, that that swift enchant on the pickaxe is like chef's kiss. That feels so good. Oh, I like this one. I think this might be the one that uh, Wolf Shadow Whisper likes. Maybe, I don't know, I don't know. Let me know which one. Was it the floor one to four music or is it this music? Also, there's a lot of cinder shards here, which is great because we need 50 for a recipe. We need another 100 for our shoes, and then we still need a bunch for um, enchanting things and um, merging rings and stuff. Like you just you always need so many cinder shards. It's 11 p.m. We're on floor seven. We're doing OK. We're not we're not doing amazing, but we're doing OK. I see iridium. We're just I think we're going to skirt across here we're gonna skirt across wasn't that a shard crap <laughs> that was so funny when we were like oh was that last episode or the episode before when i was like wait we should like we should just like just make sure we should just go and check just where's i think we've gotten most everything out of here though also, I have no clue where the door is here, so. There's two coal nodes there, but it also hit 12 o'clock, so we're just gonna keep going. So we have two more floors. Can we do it? Can we do it? I just wanna get to floor nine to see um, if there's another treasure chest there, mainly. Oh, a dragon tooth, a dragon tooth, a dragon tooth. And that'd be another iridium magma cap. Can I, can I? Oh, there it is, there it is, it's down here. I'm stressed, it's 1240. We're gonna pass out probably again. 1250. Oh, it says a regular one, but that's okay. What do you got for us? Oh, a soul sapper ring. Gain a little bit of energy every time you kill a monster, which is like at this point in the game is kind of meh because we could just eat something. What the heck? We've gotten so many dwarven, whatever the doodahs are called. Ouch, ouch. Okay, we're doing good. 120. We have enough time to enchant our hoe once because we only have one prismatic shard. We don't have our hoe on us. Okay, we're doing it tomorrow. We're doing it tomorrow. Now the question is, can I make it back into the island farmhouse in time? I don't think so. I don't think so. You felt my hesitation there, my confusion. Mango sapling. We can bring a lot of the stuff back with us. Oh my gosh, it's 150. Can we at least get onto the farm? Chirp, chirp. Eee, eee, I'm panicking. 
ding, do, oh, we fell asleep, we fell asleep, that's okay. No. That's okay. Um, okay, let's check what we're dealing with. We have... Oh, the Trout Derby has started. Yay. Okay, so we're going to go take a peek at that. See um, what's going on. It should be... Okay, it's sunny and it's raining tomorrow here as well. Fortune Teller says, Bats. So that's a good day to fish. The annual Trout Derby has begun at 6 a.m. Oh, these are almost ready too. Yay, the specimen you delivered offered a great insight into the machinations of fell beings we call monsters. I formulated a pungent tincture that brings, or sorry, that these beings find intoxicating. Use it with caution. From M. Rasmodius Wizard, and we learned the monster musk, which is awesome. Okay, yes, we are going to do this. Is that our last thing that we need to do? Is that our last parrot? Wait, it gave us a island warp totem from that too? Bork totem? That's new. I don't think it's given us... Oh, maybe it's because in case you accidentally <laughs> are spam clicking on there. Or if you don't know what it does. Also, there we go. That was weird. I think as we pulled out our sword. Yeah, maybe that's like if you're like, what is this? And you click on it and you go back to the, um, the farm. And you're like, wait, no, I didn't want to do this. So we need, funny of you, we need you. And then we can, yes, I'm, we'll wait to bring that stuff back. Probably when we have the return scepter and we have the um, obelisk as well. But we can take care of this. Can I get archeologist? Please, please, please. No, we got efficient. That's a bummer. No, I didn't bring them up with me. <laughs> I kind of want to do those actually now that I'm here. I think we can do three enchants. And again, I can, I, I'll buy like another galaxy sword if I want to do another, um, another build like a crit build or something but i think a crit build is really fun using a dagger i think doing like that with a dagger is fun and then you get speed on the hammer i don't know there's i think there's no wrong way to do this you kind of do what you feel like doing and i feel like doing rubies which is damage 66 to 88 and oh it costs 50 oh my goodness i'm just wasting time now friends let me guess the third enchant after that is going to be 20 or is it 25 i don't know i can't remember it's one of those things where usually you just do all three in one go when you just have like a bunch of cinder shards so at least that's what i do so i don't actually like ever register how many they are all right let's oops got stuck on things let's do this Let's do this one more time. So it was at 66 to 88, and now it's going to be 72. Oh, it tells you, forged two out of three. 72 to 96. So it went from 80 to 96, which is huge. That's really great, hey? And I think we'll, it'll be over 100 when we do the last one, because it goes up by eight for the maximum damage. Uh, yeah, that's fine. Okay, let's go back to the farm. No, I didn't want to go there. I wanted to go to the dig site. We're going to do dig site, then we're going to go back to the farm to collect our goodies. But we're still looking for some artifacts from here, I believe. Yeah, like we can get this from here. We can get this from here. I don't know if we can get that. We can get maybe that too. And it's also just messy here. We've just been neglecting this area for... Far too long, so let me have a swift pickaxe. Pickaxe, jeez, pickaxe. A forager's hat. I've been wanting this hat so bad. It's like the farmer's hat, but it has a little. Yay! Oh my gosh, you can get hats from dig spots. That's hilarious. I've been wanting this hat for so darn long. I just lost all of those bone shards to the water. 
Oh, nice. Oh, yay. Oh, my gosh. What the? A blue party hat? That's so funny. We're getting so many hats from this. Like, is it a... It's a bat's day, isn't it? It's, like, not a good luck day. Why are we getting so many things? Maybe that's the thing. Maybe on a bad luck day you get hats. I don't know. <gasps> Crap. Wrong one. What's the one we need? A trilobite. That's also... We don't need the Nautilus shell, because... No, it's fossil, sorry, because that was, I think that was the first artifact we got, wasn't it? We got that, like, the first week of the series. Oh my gosh, it's so funny. Someone's probably just like, hey, hey, I'm going to stick this hat in the ground. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Key, just like out here at like 3 a.m., just burying things. Um, I'm going to pop these in here. There's something else. Where's all the bony things? We're going to put the clay in here for now, too. Yeah, I think we'll put all of that there. We can put this... Uh, no, we'll bring this back with us. Yeah. Is that... That's Dragon Tooth number six. I think we need... Like 11? 11 or 12 of them. I can't remember. We need a some amount. I swear you used to have to ship a Dragon's Tooth too. Am I losing my mind on that? Also... Oh, shoot. We haven't shipped a Moss still. These are radioactive stuff. Moss. Don't know. Oh, that's... This is um the, the mystic thingy. And I don't know what that is. But we'll figure it out soon. Your dino mayo, caviar, rabbit's foot. We haven't gotten a rabbit's foot. And then some fruits. These are all fruits from trees. Pineapple, taro, cinder shard. Shoot, I should have brought a cinder shard with us. Am I going to do it now because it's on my mind? Yes. Is this a waste of time? Mm, to some, yes. To me, no, because then I wouldn't be committing to it if I thought it was. Yeah, I swear you used to have to ship a, a Dragon's Tooth for collection, but I might just be confusing it with mods or something. I don't know. So remember, you always needed 12. You needed 10 for the obelisk, and then you needed one to craft the island. Um, which, I mean, obviously it's more now. You needed one to craft the island warp totem. Which I don't even think we have the recipe for. And then you needed... We have way too many things to bring back. We can bring back... I still just have not found Leo. Leo that and then yeah because i'm going to pick the tarot that's grown which is wow is, is this grown i can't tell if this is grown are you grown you are How many is that? That's 41. Plus we planted 30 something. I think we need to still seed these. We'll still seed these. Because we have 68. So should be okay. But we'll seed them. Um, oh and our starfruit wine is ready. Okay let's put some of the stuff away. Let's plant this darn banana sapling before I forget again. It's been like three days. One, two, here. Don't plant those darn bananas happening. There we go. We have all the fruit trees in there. That's That feels really good. Okay, we're going to put one of you on here. I'm going to sneeze. I can feel it. I'm going to sneeze. I'm going to sneeze.
I've been muted this entire time. Oh my gosh. And of course I was like, I need to check to make sure I'm not muted. So you didn't hear any, how long have I been muted for? How darn long have I been muted for? Well, we got some AMS, ASMR. There's literally nothing I can do about that. Hello, I'm back. Oh my gosh. <laughs> of course, the one time I don't check to make sure that, oh my gosh, nightmare. Someone can someone tally how long I was muted for? That's so funny. I'm just a mess. When did I sneeze? I was probably still on the island. I was still on the island, so I went like a whole day. I went a whole day. I went a whole day. Okay. Content. Content. Or context. What I was saying is I was wondering if the rewards were the same, if the rewards are capped. So that's why I'm doing this so much is to see if we get different rewards, which I, as soon as we got that, that trout painting, I was like, oh, okay, we got that last year, I guess. I guess we get more. Um, and then I was saying how easy this is with this, how we've only gotten that one bream. Um, what else did we do? I planted the banana sapling. I don't know when I muted. I think it was... When did I sneeze? I don't even remember. I'm gonna have to watch it back. I'm gonna have to watch it back, which I can't do while I'm recording. Um, but yeah, no, I asked a question for y'all to answer. So call me out for muting. Just call me a, a goof. That's totally fine. Oh my gosh, I'm so bad. I usually have OBS pulled up too. And of course, the one time I don't... Oh, yay. Okay, that answers that question a little bit too. Deluxe bait. Um, I don't remember what else happened. Was I muted for the dig site? If I was muted for the dig site, I was saying how awesome it was to get hats from... I don't know. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's such a disaster. Ooh, another one. Okay. Triple shot, two. So these rewards are pretty, like, early game friendly, I would say, right? Like, they're not... For the, st the, the state of the game we're in, they're kind of like, eh. And they're pretty similar to last year as well. So I don't know. We'll do some of this tomorrow, just to see what the rewards are tomorrow. But like, okay, we got a bream. We're going to jet. Oh my gosh. I'm so sorry. I was muted. Oh my gosh. I need to get in the habit of, I need like, I need like a third monitor just so I can have OBS on there. I swear. I swear. Freaking nightmare. I need like someone to watch me record <laughs> so that they can be like, you're muted. You're muted. You're muted. <laughs> Kidding. Um put that away even though we're gonna use it literally tomorrow 150 i'm gonna fall asleep outside i'm gonna fall asleep outside i'm gonna fall asleep outside oh my gosh how long was i asleep for oh or not asleep how long was i muted for that's so freaking funny it's actually not it's actually really upsetting but anyways um gosh yeah like I was shipping that because I said, oh my gosh, was I muted for that? I'm sorry if I'm repeating myself, but it's because I literally don't know. I went back for that cinder shard and I was like, is this a waste of time? To some, yes. To me, no, because that's why I'm doing it. Trout derby. It is a derby. That was another thing as I was asking if it was called a derby or not. Oh, I love just knowing I was talking to myself. It's a good luck day. Okay, so we'll do... We'll ignore animal... Not animal. We'll ignore animal products. Sorry. We'll ignore animal products again. That's one thing I said yesterday too. Um, before I was unable to, um, one thing I'm thinking is we'll bring this with us too. We'll bring, we'll bring this with us. And let, uh, let's bring this with us too. Because we have sheds, we have sheds. And this is going to be telling us we passed out. I also upgraded this. And, oh, I, again, I don't know if that's part of it. What is this? Oh, thanks, Linus. Another birthday gift for Pierre. I need truffle oil. Don't ask me why. I, I was not planning on it. Um, gosh, what was I saying? Um, I don't remember. Sorry, my brain is so juggled now because whenever I do this, I'm like, what did I say? What didn't I say? When did it happen? Um, I wanted to upgrade. Oh, Rue is so cute with that hat. You also maybe miss me freaking out about how cute Rue is with the paper hat on. At least there's no, like, new things, right? Um, let's put that trout painting right there. Let's put that cow is gonna go somewhere else. Those look so nice. I should have bought more of those. I really like that. 
Well, we know we're going to be buying a lot of next year. <laughs> 70. Okay, we should be good now. Let's go pet Rue with a cute little paper hat on. Oh my gosh. Even um, Chestnut with this hat on. The Southwester looks really awesome. We are going to be making... more bait so that was like i ran back up here to get the bait because i was like this is really good like this is literally what we need to be catching so oh my gosh i just don't know when did i sneeze when did i think it was in the vault we were like in the dungeon like the volcano dungeon weren't we or was it more recent than that i don't remember oh my gosh but it's like at least 20 minutes of just like silent content oh i'm gonna i'll put a comment in i'll put a comment in like being like i'm a i'm a goof and it's there's no commentary for 20 minutes <laughs> what, half an hour 40 minutes i don't know how long it is yeah okay i was expecting more fences because we kind of put all this fence oh geez put all this fence up here at the same time so makes sense why it's all decaying around the same time is there more fence down here that's i think oh shoot geez that's most of this fence now the rest of it will be um like our decoration fence okay we'll grab these because we actually are going to be going i ignored those yesterday morning if i wasn't muted by then or if i was muted by then because i knew we were not going to be going into the shed so that's why i ignored those oh my gosh it's so funny because even though i was muted some of you probably know exactly what i was saying at this point you probably know exactly what i was saying like you're like oh he missed some animals he's looking for the animals like <laughs> Uh, am I that predictable? Am I okay with being that predictable? Okay, so let's put our little fun little cow up here. Because this is our animal shed. I love it. How many other people do you think did that too? Literally everyone. Um, I mean, not everyone has an animal shed though. Where is Chestnut? We're going to go do... Oh, I really want to go to the mines today. Like the to Skull Caverns. Because we need prismatic shards. Eight days. Oh, I don't think we're going to complete that. Also, I just did not check Keys Quest this week, which I think is okay. I don't think we're ready for Keys Quest. I don't think we're ready for Keys Quest. Oh, yeah. I also saw this. I saw these yesterday if I wasn't muted, and I decided that I was not ready to, because there was, like, the Trout Derby, and I was anxious about getting enough fish time after being at the island, so that's why I decided not to do that. Don't know if I was muted by that or not. I don't remember when I was sneezing. Was it, was I doing chore? I don't know. Gosh. Ugh, call me out. Call me out. That's an ups on my part. Because again, I've been so good at having OBS up and then I just didn't. And then poof, poof goes my voice. Silly hemlock. How many of you think that on a, like a daily basis? Oh, silly hemlock. But <laughs> eh. You still saw what happened. You just didn't hear me ranting about it pretty much. This is also going to be a lot of money. That's going to be a lot of money. And blue bee. Let's put a blue bin. And you go away, you go away, and you go away. And how much money is 85 star fruit wine? 267,000. Don't mind if I do. I do say. I dare say. Any shields, hero people in the crowd? Um, <laughs> I'm not a weeb, I swear. Um, okay, we need to go to the desert. <clears throat> and we can do coffee, and then we need to do some more row, and then we're going to do some more trout derby, just to see what the rewards are. But I think I was, was I, I think I, I muted myself where I was saying the, the rewards are very, like, early game. They're very early game. Is that just me? Like, they just don't feel as, like, enticing at the point of... They don't feel like they're as enticing at this point of the game. Okay, so 75 is not enough. Shoot, I didn't bring our jade with us. That's okay. There's more reason to come next episode. Oh, I want to record another episode, but, like... Ooh, there's so many mahogany trees ready. I want to record another episode, but I don't think that's smart. 80 should be okay, right? Let's buy 90 just in case. I know that we have some in there, but... 
I know we have some in, in our chest. Oh, the black shirt looks really nice. But I'd rather be better, like, safe than sorry than have to come all the way back here again. And I know we missed both the birthdays this week. Oh my gosh, I'm so bad. Oh, well, bro, I want to record another episode. Maybe I will record another episode. Because this episode is... Oh, we're pretty close. We're on Sunday. Hello? How did a fiber just come flying at me while we were in a bus? That must be from the green rain. That's funny. Okay, let's quickly just come and plant all of these. Get these going. 260,000 from that wine. Wow. I should have chopped down those um, mahogany trees. Because then that's just more wood, which means more kegs. But I think we're quite low on... Um, is it copper bars? Like, I don't even know if we can make it that many more kegs. We're going to have to spend some time on level 20. Okay, we have three. Okay, so it's 87. It's 87. That's good to know. That's really good to know. And that's like with our current setup in there. 87. One second. Let me just oh, pull up my chair because I'm literally losing circulation to my legs. Uh, we have a lot more star fruit. Yeah, like we have so much star fruit that we need to process. That's 222,000 right there. Another 130,000. We have so much star fruit to process. So how many kegs can we make? Actually, let's do a turn on these. These bait machines are awesome. Such a great addition. That makes fishing so much more approachable. I think that's a good word to describe it, is approachable. It makes fishing more approachable. Less daunting. Less daunting. Okay, 1.40 p.m. I think that's a decent amount of time to finish off fishing. Yeah, I'm just so addicted to Stardew. I just want to keep playing it. I just want to keep playing it. Um, Rod, we have 35 on there. Let's add another 81. Not 8, no, 81 total. Jeez. We're over, we're 97. That should be good for the rest of, <laughs> um... That should be good for, like, next year, too. Okay, how many kegs can we make? We have 12 copper bars, so we can make 12. We'll make 11. And I think we'll go and load them up right now, honestly, because we did just put these in, like, an hour ago, so it won't be too much delay. I'll start with all the regular quality ones, just in case we need, like, emergency funds. Then we can just sell the raw star fruit. There we go. Yeah, we'll eventually make another keg for, geez, another shed, which will probably be half preserved jars and then half dehydrators, which, speaking of those, we bought the recipe. Wood, clay, and, oh, fire quartz. Okay, we can make some of those, too, because we definitely have fire quartz. That makes sense, because you're drying things out. All right, um, let's fish. But, I mean, after if, after a few of these rewards, if it's kind of like, eh, then we might stop. But I want to kind of explore this. I can't believe I was muted. Oh, my goodness. Shame on me. And I know I'm beating myself up more than I should. Oh, sorry. My Discord popped up and it scared me. I don't need to be so hard on myself. You always, you're, you're, you all are very good at telling me not to be as hard on myself, but I feel so bad because it's so, it's always unintentional. That's the thing. It's always unintentional. This does not feel like a rainbow trout. I was going to say, I was like, that was like way too boring to be a rainbow trout. Ticket. Okay, this is a good sign. What do we get? Is it another? We'll do like maybe three. Okay, quality sprinkler is pretty like, eh, again, right? Like early game, like your first summer, that quality sprinkler is probably like, heck yes. Just like really excited about it, hey? But at this point, a quality sprinkler is like, eh. We can make that in like no time, just spending some time in the mines. So yeah, we'll get two more rewards, see what they are, and then move on. Mm -hmm. 
think we even got two. My goodness. Where's our tickets? Yeah, I was also freaking out about the forager's hat if I wasn't muted. I've been wanting the forager's hat for so long because it's like the farmer's hat, but it has a little leaf in it. So I'm happy that we got that from digging from a tilling. I never knew you could get them from wormies. You, getting hats from wormies, that's a new experience. Ticket. Ah. Gosh, we're actually going to be here all day just trying to get... You didn't feel like a... You were. Yay. Okay, three warp totems to the farm. Again, kind of like... Like, nice, but... Yeah, let me know. Let me... You're not... You're not a... Rainbow Trout, what the heck? Um, let me know what if the rewards are like. I feel like I feel like if you there's probably like something really good at the end if you do this long enough. Is that just me? But I'm okay getting spoiled now that this is our second take on it, and like we're kind of like I just want to know like should, is this something we need to do every year? Three Omni Geodes. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna call it. I'm gonna call it. Which maybe that's a bad choice, but we're definitely gonna be able to get at least one more. Of these trout derbies and like we're gonna be playing summer year three there's no questions asked we're at like 30 percent perfection <laughs> um so yeah but yeah let me know um let me know i think i'm just gonna keep putting fish in here because we have the space and then we can reassess um once it starts to fill up too much but for now i think it's okay put these away and we might be okay on fences so that might be a, a risky move putting those away but that's fine and those away and what do i want to do 6 10 p.m it's a good lock day um let's try and get those other geodes let's try and get those other geodes hey actually or do i want to try and get the crimson fish maybe i'll bring these and and they'll bring this because we're gonna we can go over there but i want to try and can you you can Oh, shoot, I should switch the bait. Um, you know what I might actually do is pike bait, sunfish bait, stonefish bait, octopus bait. I might put the bait, and we have a bunch of fish in here too. I think I put those in there yesterday. Or no, that was before I went to the island. I know I was not muted for that. Um, we'll put the bait in here. Because this chest is like empty. There's nothing in there. Uh, bait. And then there's probably bait and bait. And row, 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 row. Yeah, let's just take out all the fish stuff out of here. Yeah, and then we'll put all the fish stuff in here because we have like a billion fish rods in here too. That makes more sense in my brain. Also, that bugs me so much that the iridium rod doesn't go with all the other ones. But I think is it because it's alphabetical? No, because training rods first. What the heck? That's going to bug me so much. Okay. um, Drop that off. And then what else did I say we were going to do? Go and get geodes, yes. There's something else there, though. There's something else. Oh, maybe the crimson fish. But crimson fish. But we'll see if we can get geodes. Which, maybe I could get geodes by fishing. I don't know. <laughs> Watch. I'm going to go spend a thousand years trying to get these geodes and then apparently there's a secret in here too is that that's where we i forget this is where we need to put something in there so funny that the other secret was like directly across from it let's get this because we have a thing that maybe okay sure okay so what else do we got here we have i swear we kept a void salmon for this We'll have the dinosaur mayonnaise short soon. I'd be shocked if um 
if our dino was not hatched. We haven't gone into the coop in like three days, so it could it more more than likely could be done. Let's go. Let's just reset twenty because we need. Yes, this is what we need. Oh my gosh, fast pickaxe. Yes! Oh my gosh! Is that is that all of them? That Dougie literally just got us. I think that is because we had two, and then we got one from the treasure chest. Was I muted for that? I freaked out. Let's get one more just so that it auto stacks. Am I being greedy? Maybe. Anyways, I like freaked out when we got one from a treasure chest. I was like, oh my gosh, maybe this is more effective. Oh, there we go. Okay, got it. There. Okay, so maybe we can go fish for the crimson fish today. And then if we get the crimson fish in a timely manner, then we could potentially go get the mutant carp and slime jack. What was I doing? Oh yeah, okay, so we can put these away. Let's put these away. There's a cherry bomb. Let's get... Oh, I'm so excited to finish this. These poor guys have been waiting like a million years for us to do this. And I'm going to bring one of these and one of these yet again. Because they're there and literally every single playthrough, I always put all of those warp totems in a chest. Oh, what happened to my desktop back music? Why is my... Oh, it's just because it's quiet. I'm going to leave it there. If I fiddle with it, bad things happen. Bad things happen. Leave it. Yeah, it's just because it's the crickets that aren't getting picked up. Um, I put all those warp, these warp totems that I collect in a chest. Because I'm like, oh, no, no, they're too valuable. I can't use them. And then I don't use them. And then I build the obelisks. And then I don't use them because I have the obelisks, you know? Um, yes, you do. Here's a gift for them. Oh, what? It's eight? <laughs> There's tears on my face. I am a dingus. No. <laughs> oh, there's a broken fence there. Oh my gosh, it's eight. I'm so silly. I'm so silly. Well, this episode really took a turn. <laughs> I'm kidding, it's okay. I'm just being me. I'm just being me. I'm sorry if you were like, oh my gosh, please, it's eight. As soon as you saw me get that and like talking about getting five. That's okay. Again, the nice thing about Stardew is that it's an endless game. You can play it for as long as needed. You can play to year 100 if that's what you want to do. I'm going to probably try to get Duggies because that Duggie like popped those geodes for us. Like that was awesome. Well, also our... Okay. Please, please, please. I don't know why I just got so quiet and so focused. Nice. Thanks, Quiver. You literally just decimated. There's one. Okay, so that's five, six was in our chest. That's seven. We need one more. And I'm not going to care about getting plus one this time. Because I just want to finish this darn thing. Yeah, we have one in the chest. Where the doggies at? Ooh, okay. You know what I really like is a new trinket. Unless there's only two, but I, for some reason I feel like there's more than two. Like two does not feel like... Yay! I think we have a chewing stick already. We do. Mm, I could just use my warp tome. Actually, totem. Do I? Yes, because I have one here. So let's use it. Just because that will save us a few valuable seconds. Gosh, your inventory's a mess. Do I do I try to fish for the crimson fish at eleven thirty p.m. and it's gonna be closer to midnight actually by the time we get there. Also, let's ship a darn moss. This is kind of what I was saying with the cinder shard. If I was muted again, I don't know. Ah. My speed. Um, let's rock and roll. Why is my fishing rod? What the heck? 
I'm not gonna worry about like copper ore. We just like literally always just have copper ore on us because we just do things. Yeah, I think I'm gonna try and fish. Why not squeeze out the last few seconds of this? Oh my gosh, this episode's almost three hours long. Wait, we have nine. Jeez. Thanks, Bobo. Take this. <gasps> what is that? A jungle tank? Oh, cool. What do you put in a jungle tank? Is it? It's, it's like a fish tank, but like there's a jungle tank. And also you've been expanded. Raccoon journal. Nice. Oh, grant some foraging experience. Okay. Yeah, what is a jungle tank? I'm so curious what a jungle tank is. I didn't talk to you. I didn't talk to you to see if you have any more. Like, do you have more family? Do you have more children? I just got too excited about the crimson fish. I'm sorry. I'm really curious to see if these double cork bobber is a thing. Please. First cast. Crimson fish. Right here. Right there. Nope. I don't think the double cork bobber stacks. Okay, so we might do a cork bobber and a trap bobber then. Oops. Yeah, we'll try and do a cork bobber and a trap bobber. You're also not a crimson fish. What are you? You're a super cucumber is what you are. Please, I just want one. No, we have enough time to cast. Like, we're going to 140 is when we're going to go. I think that's as much time as we can sacrifice. We've passed out like five nights this episode. We're at that point where losing a thousand dollars to passing out is not. No, I'm not finishing on a seaweed note. <gasps> Yay. No. No. Oh, I was not trying to get that, but sure. Oh my gosh, are we going to get our first legendary? Hello? Yay! You've caught one of the legendary fish. And it gave us a G. Are you kidding me? That's so funny. Alright, let's last on home. That's awesome. So we can check a bobber. That's that's our first legendary. So we can definitely get the sewer legendary. There you are. Look at it. This fish page is coming along so well. I also want to... Oh, I don't know if we have time. Yikes. Yikes, 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 yikes. Okay, we're going to pass out. Okay. Uh, I thought we had a little bit more time. Man. Whoa, I forgot we sold starfruit wine today. Oh my gosh. I might forget to comment heads up on this video, so call me out if I forgot to comment on it. <laughs> About the, the muted mic. And be like, it was exactly this amount of minutes and seconds. How could you? <laughs> okay, I'm going to just quickly come out here. I'm not going to... Because I'm going to be closing down the game, so it doesn't really matter what we do. I just wanted to check if we had a... We do. Okay, so we have we have five of them. We have avoid salmon for the mystery, missing bundle. So I will be doing that next episode. I'll be doing that next episode. But yeah, I'm going to call it here. Thanks for stopping by. Thanks for stopping by. This was a fun episode. You know, random ASMR content and all. Um, but yeah, thanks for popping by. I appreciate you all. I hope you enjoyed the... The, the comment answering. I always have fun doing that. I like doing it um, in the videos rather than just like on people's comments. I don't know. It's fun chatting back with y'all. So yeah. Thanks for stopping by. We're going to close summer next episode, which is absolutely crazy to think about. That's bonkers. But I will see you then. So thanks for popping by. Looking forward to all your comments. And I will see you in the next episode. Until then, bye-bye for now.